check. One, two. Check, check. Bring her up a bit. All right, how is that feeling? A little lower. Okay. All right, check one, two. Good. All right. All right, let's, uh, let's get uh, James going here. Thank you very much. You can honestly take my chair. I won't sit down. You won't sit down? No, I don't oh, sit when I call games. <laughs> as long as you don't mind my jacket being there, you, don't, uh, you can have my chair. Yeah, All right, sweet. All right. That's how you keep engaged, eh? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Throw on your headset. We'll sound check you, and then we'll be good. Test. All right. Just uh, test, try test, test. George. Yeah. Keep going. Test, 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 test. How's How's he there? Keep going. Test, test, test. Just Ch okay. Perfect. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. No, that was going to be me, and then you guys have said I was calling. <laughs> oh. So we're not doing music today? No, unless you... Unless... I, I one mean... One of these guys goes down there, and we have one guy doing perfect play. You guys are not going to get a little music, no? Or unless one of you guys want... There's a cable here. Yeah, we could do that. We could run something off our phone while we're going.
Good afternoon, Eagle fans, and welcome inside the South Surrey Arena. Joey and James coming to you live from the Eagles perch. We got Team Blue and Team Green, part of our elite ID camp here at the South Surrey Arena. There's a lot of new faces here. Many players coming up from the U18 and U17 programs of the BC Elite Hockey League. You'll see a lot of members of the Fraser Valley Thunderbirds, a lot of members of the Valley West Giants, as well as the Delta Hockey Academy. A lot of players making appearances from there. Elsewhere, the Northeast Chiefs, Northwest Hawks have to make appearances as well. As well as we have some carryovers, some former Eagles who are coming back to try and crack that lineup one more time. Getting set for the opening puck drop here. That's going to be controlled by Green. Carrying out of their own zone. One more time, they'll try to break this puck in. That'll get turned back, back the other way. It's Trent Wilson. He'll throw a puck ahead. Jacob Bunkowski, pass in front, shot! Great glove save made! And the first chance on goal, Matthew Canduso comes up with a big glove stop. We're already seeing a nice little jolt of energy off the hop here. Blue team heading in deep on the greens. Bit of a slow line change here. Blue slowly makes their way over. McCarthy Richardson in for the draw for Blue. He'll lose that one. Back the other way comes Green. Breaking into the attacking zone is Blake Cotton. Cotton, pass across. Unable to corral that one is Braden Nagger. Nagger throws down low. Shifting, making moves. Pass in front. That'll be intercepted on the way through by McCarthy Richardson. He'll try to break that puck back out the other way. Here comes Team Blue across the line. It'll get knocked loose off a stick, finds its way behind the goal. That'll be stolen away here, it's Antonio Bevacqua. Tried to throw that one to the front of the net, got picked off on the way through. Henry Smith lost the handle on that one, back comes Blue. That'll get chipped down low, Richardson. Down low, stiff check thrown by Henry Smith. Green will break that puck out, but it'll get knocked down on the way through. Green one more time. Back the other way comes Team Green. Alexander Sandu, shot, pad save made. Turn and burn, shot, blocker save, and the rebound just trickles wide off Dryden DeMello. Cleared to the line, but not out. Long shot and tipped on the way through, and that'll be stopped by DeMello. Now, Joey, we saw a long shift uh, just, off the stop, just off the hop for the green team. Then Sandu came in along with the rest of his team and just flew right in there. A couple shots on goal that might start the momentum off here. Both goaltenders have been tested early, but not a lot of quality chances aside from that great glove soft by Can Do So at the start of the frame. Back the other way comes Bulo, try to work this puck out again. Make his way out. Savin Verk, shot, pad, save Can Do So. Loose behind that. Green will try to work that through. They got two men in there. They'll come out with that puck. Breaking back the other way, it's Mateo Speranza. Speranza threw that puck across for uh, Brar and got it back, but Speranza lost the handle on it. Green will have to get back into a defending position. That'll be taken away there by Cash Dumka Jones. Dumka Jones, former Valley West Giant, circling behind his own goal. He'll fan on his pass, but it'll find its intended target, but it'll be turned over back the other way comes Blue. Jacob Bonkowski lost the handle on that one. Turned over, Green trying to fire that puck in, lose the blue line, and they'll try to regroup here. Lachlan Freer, he'll try to spin off that check, trying to get away from Jacob Bonkowski, who's been a bit of a demon on the forecheck so far, James. Got a lot of players with something to prove here, and forechecking like that, that'll make a name for yourself quick. You know, a lot of players are gonna be looking to throw the body, try to get some good shots on goal, and for the goaltenders, you know, you gotta keep everything out of the net if you wanna try and crack this BCHL squad. That's right, Joey. Only a couple can make it. Trapped in the neutral zone here. Blue's gonna try and work it out. Bode Pearson, but he's got a man on him. Nice clear out there. Carrying into the attacking zone. Logan Lorenz. Lorenz tried to throw that one across, and it found its way into Canduso, but he got a stick on that one, finds its way into the corner. 
Holding on to it up top is Logan Lorenz. Lost the handle on that one. It'll be poke checked forward, and Blue's going to try and gain the zone one more time. Thrown back. Marcus Gill can't handle that one. Lost the handle on it. Back the other way is Green. Coming out with that one. It's Amir Sindhu. Sindhu across. Thrown on goal, and that'll be a blocker save by Dryden DeMello. DeMello, a right-handed catcher. Not very common. The old Tony Esposito. Or for a more modern comparison, Jonas Hiller. Pavel that'll Francouz. Get, there's another one, too. Thomas Volkun. That puck will go all the way down. Enough for an icing call, and we will get a whistle. You know, you touched on how uncommon it is. I think we named a few more. We would have ran out quick. Uh, how about Tom Barrasso? Won two cups with the Penguins in the 90s. Very nice, very there nice. You know, got a, uh, try, if I got a couple more pop into my head, I'll bring them up, you know. <laughs> Green controls off that faceoff. Fired down into the corner. Picked up there by Drew Sakonis. Sakonis. Sends that up the far side boards. It'll be pinned up by a couple green. Back to the blue line. Long shot and tipped on the way through as Dawson Toledo got a stick on that one. They'll try to throw that one to the slot again. Toledo had it bounce off a stick. Back the other way comes blue. Nishan Parmar. Parmar trying to cut to the front of that. He'll be taken down on the way there. And that will draw the ire of the official. First penalty coming up. First power play of the game coming relatively early. We've seen a lot of cycling, a lot of low shots on net. A lot of players just trying to make the smart play. I think that's how you impress coaches when you're trying to try out here, right? And it was a very good defensive effort as Parmar had a clear path to the net. He was going to go in one-on-one -on -one against the goaltender. Matthew can do so, has been good so far. But Owen Blythe is going to get the stick in there and we will get our first power play opportunity of our ID tournament here. We're wishing all of our Eagles fans across Surrey and the province a very happy Canada Day long weekend. And if you're crossing, watching from below the border, a very happy Independence Day as well. Green's going to clear that puck off the draw. Good start to the penalty kill for Team Green. Picking that puck up behind his own net is going to be Callan Adderlini. Adderlini, he'll spin off the four check of Braden Wenlock. Bank pass ahead into the neutral zone. Parmar throws that puck across. Carried into the attacking zone. Adderlini behind the goal. Tried to throw it right into the slot. Went between both defenders. That'll go all the way back. Played by Dryden DeMello. Into the attacking zone. Here comes Blue one more time. Richardson can't get a shot off. And Green's going to try and collapse onto that puck. Back at the point. Here's Ryland Bronkowski. Bonkowski, he'll walk the line, surveys his options. CDD pass for Adderlini. Adderlini back up for Bonkowski. Bonkowski throws that one across. Bevacqua can't get a shot off. And Green's going to poke that out just past the line as Adderlini's going to have to go back. Adderlini, D to D for Ryland Bonkowski. Bonkowski back for Adderlini. Adderlini across the blue. He'll weave his way through a pair of green. Leaves up top. Ryland Bonkowski, he'll walk down the near side boards into the near corner behind the goal. Back up top, Adderlini. Pass across. Ryland Bonkowski, he takes a shot. Hits somebody on the way through, found its way into the corner. Blue corrals that puck. Minute 32 remaining in this power play. Back of the line, long shot. That'll get tipped on the way through. I think it was a good block there by Lachlan Freer. Adderlini tried to throw that down the boards. That'll get picked off on the way through by Cash Dumka Jones. Blue corrals that puck one more time. Great pressure on this power play so far for Team Blue. Pass across. Bonkowski over onto the other side. Played there, Devon Mahill. Bonkowski can't get a shot off. I think that was blocked on the way through. Good job getting down there by Quad Giroux. Couple blocks early. I think uh, with these mishmashes of players from all over the region, might even be a little bit easier for them to penalty kill rather than maneuver on the power play. There was a wide shot there. Blue can't corral it. Here's another chance, cutting into the slot. And Devin Mahill can't get a good shot off, but he weaved his way into the slot. That'll get cleared all the way down in on goal, played aside by Dryden DeMello. Jacob Onkowski. Long stretch pass ahead by Joe Von Brar. Brar will get that again. Comes in, top of the circle, shoots, stopped by Canduso. The rebound is stopped by Canduso as well. Two great stops for Matthew Canduso. 
And now Green's gonna try and clear that one out, but they're having some troubles. They get picked up in the corner by Blue, it's Logan Lorenz. Lorenz tries to throw it to the front, sticked away by Canduso. Shot, great arm stop by Canduso as he flashed his left arm, kept that puck out of the net. Penalty's about to expire, stepping back onto the ice will be Owen Blythe. Right in front of the net alone, shot another great save by Canduso. And standing alone in front of the net was Trent Wilson. But Canduso coming across with that right pad, flashing, the, flashing that leg. What a sequence by Canduso there. The goalie really proving his mettle at this point. I touched on it earlier. I think it might be a little bit easier to kill a penalty with all these guys uh, working on their chemistry at this point. Just power play where they haven't quite, you know, fleshed things out so far. Blue will control that puck one more time. Logan Lorenz, he'll send that back to the point. Sakonis. He'll get that puck back, Sakonis. He'll send it down into the far corner, carrying it himself, around behind the goal. Sakonis into the slot. Wilson can't get a shot off, as Green is gonna corral that puck. Pinned up along the near side boards, that'll come loose. Here's a chance in front. And that'll get cleared down the length of the ice. And that will be enough for an icing as Green is still used to being on the penalty kill, I suppose. Well, it's been a bit of a back and forth so far. The sequence on, at the end of the power play was really the first time we've seen a lot of ozone pressure. I expect we'll see more of that as these teams get used to each other and finish really feeling each other out. Face off one by Green. They'll try to work this puck out of their own zone. Dangerous pass there, gave that puck right to McCarthy Richardson. He'll send that down low. Coming out of his goal is Charlie Tritt to play that. Would like to apologize to the family of Charlie. Uh, <laughs> mislabeled on the roster sheet. A classic. And we're in the early goings, James. This always happens, right? Learning on the fly, as they Learning say. Learning on the fly. Pinned up between the benches here. Green is going to come out with that puck. Or at least I thought they would. They turn it back over. Bevacqua, nice pass ahead. Parmar shoots, he scores! Nishan Parmar ripped that. Our first goal of the game from Parmar on a beautiful shot, perfectly placed in the top left pocket. You know, you kind of thought that might be coming after all that pressure at the end of the power play. They really maintain momentum. Green's gonna be looking to get it back as quickly as they can. Parmar shoots, he scores! Nishan Parmar ripped that. Coming into the faceoff here, Blue's gonna control that one. They've had carried most of the pace in this early going of this first runtime period so far. 13.04 remaining on the clock here. 25 minute runtime, and that'll get chipped up into the zone, or into the benches rather. You know, for a brief little bit there early on before the power play, we saw the Greens working on a lot of low shots, getting a little bit of pressure on the goaltender, but it's really turned around quick. Green breaking into the attacking zone here. Near side corner, leaves behind. Picked up is Jordan Ewan. Ewan of the U17 Fraser Valley Thunderbirds looking to make a splash here. And that puck will get cleared out by Blue and it will go all the way down. Will it be enough for an icing call? And it will be, and we'll get another whistle here. 12-22 and uh, counting going by here in this first period of play. One nothing is the score. Of a great shot by Nishan Parmar going high to the blocker side, beating Charlie Tritt. Just over halfway through, it's, uh, it's a little bit tough to get a read on these guys. I think they're still reading it out on each other, learning them on the fly just as we are. Another face-off win for Blue. Held in at the line by Green. Braden Nagger tried it, but it'll get turned back. Marcus Gill threw that puck ahead. Carrying in will be Ryland Bonkowski. Bonkowski lost the handle on it. Here's a chance back the other way for Green. Gaining the zone. Pass in front and unable to get a stick on that one. And the referee's gonna blow that. We got a hit to the head coming, a bit of head contact. You know, that odd man rush looked very dangerous for a sec there, Joey. One touch, and this could have been a different game already. It's gonna be two minutes for an illegal hit to the head there, or, or rather a runtime penalty for two minutes for the illegal hit to the head. Back to the penalty kill as Braden Nagar will take the seat. Three minutes will be the time on the clock. Run time. Here's Blue trying to work some magic here again. 
Bonkowski up top. Kaylin Aberlini tried to throw it across. That will be corralled and held in the zone. Two times, as a matter of fact, by Jacob Bonkowski. Bonkowski, he'll walk between the circles. Up top of the line. Backhand pass across. Kaylin Adderlini. Adderlini throws it down low. Pass in front and knocking his net off there with a good push across was Tritt. And we will take another whistle there. Cross ice pass directly across the crease. Tough to say if the goaltender was ready for it. Seemed to square up nicely to the shot, but that fast of a pass, that fast of a shot, if it connected, you never know. Tritt has looked good in the early stages here so far, aside from that shot from Ishan Parmar heating him, beating him high to the blocker side, rather. Up top, Brar. He'll hold. Brar holds at the line, fakes the shot, throws that puck across. Nice hard pass across by Jacob Bonkowski. But Adderlini was not ready for it. Bonkowski will get that puck back. Bonkowski into the middle. Lorenz tried to throw that across. That'll get picked off on the way through and cleared the length of the ice. Good penalty killing there by Amar Sadu. Breaking out. Here comes Jacob Bonkowski. Leaves behind for Trent Wilson. Wilson up top, Brar. Brar lost the handle on that one. Back the other way, here's a chance shorthanded. Green's trying to make some magic here shorthanded, but, but will get stick lifted. Trent Wilson back in his own zone, behind his own net for Kalen Adderlini. Adderlini, he'll spin off the check, throws behind for Bode Pearson. Pearson to the Vancouver Northwest Hawks. Throws into the attacking zone up for McCarthy Richardson. Richardson lost the handle on that one. Pinned up along the far side boards and fired down the length of the ice. 45 seconds remaining in the penalty. Regroup behind their own net, Bode Pearson. Pearson, dangerous pass right in front of his own net. Got lucky there, but it'll be fired back down the length of the ice by Green. Final half minute of this power play. 0 for 1 with the man advantage is blue. However, off the momentum, managed to get one just afterwards. Carrying into the attacking zone, it's Nishan Parmar. He's got the game's opening goal. Parmar throws that up top. Alec McDonald. McDonald goes D to D. Pearson. Pearson, he'll hold on to that one. Let's a low one go towards the net. That'll be sticked aside and fired down just outside by Parker Roscoe. Teams are back to five on five as Nager steps back on the ice. Be knocked loose. Be sent down low, Quay Giroux. Around to the other side, up top. Cooper Stockdale, lost the handle on that one. Puck will come loose to McCarthy Richardson. Richardson, throws behind his own goal for Bode Pearson. Pearson, he'll turn on the Jets, trying to get away from a four checker, Andrew Casalotto. Nice pass across for Antonio Bebequa. He'll just chop that into the attacking zone. Trip behind his own goal, he'll swing that puck around. Sent back down low by Parmar. A sea of bodies in the near side corner. Blue's going to come out with that puck. Bevacqua. Bevacqua lost the handle on that one. That'll be forced out of the zone by Green, and they might have numbers here. Casalotto in on the forecheck, but he can't beat Sakonis to that puck. Behind his own goal, it's Rylan Bonkowski. Bonkowski with a burst of speed. Nice pass up ahead to Miles Bergen. Bergen back across for Sakonis. Sakonis into the attacking zone. Nice pass across just out of the reach of his intended target. As Simon Verk was just close. Cash Dumka Jones had that puck behind the net, lost the handle on it. Here's a chance shot over top of the goal. Finds his way back to the point, Sakonis. Lost the handle on that puck, back the other way. Here's a chance. In, Mateo Speranza, the pass across, and it's chipped just wide of the goal. A great two-on-one chance for Mateo Speranza and Joel Plant. A perfect pass from Speranza, but Plant no good on the finish. Game remains 1-0 in favor of Team Blue as Green was that close to striking back, eh, James? You know, I think that might have been their best chance of the game so far. Beautiful play, beautiful pass, excellent attack from Speranza. Speranza back in, pass into the slot, shoots, he scores! 
A great play from Mateo Speranza found its way into the slot and Alexander Sandu pumps her low to the glove side. On the finish, game remains 1-0 in favor of Team Blue as Green was that close to striking back, eh James? You know, I think that might have been their best chance of the game so far. Beautiful play, beautiful pass, excellent tax. Speranza, Speranza back in, pass into the slot, shoots, he scores! A great play from Mateo We're even at one goal apiece as Green's going to look to add to it. Mateo Speranza one more time. Speranza trying to drag move, lost the handle. Here's another chance as Sandu was looking for two and he was stopped with a great right pad save by Dryden DeMello. In the corner coming out with that puck. Backhanded just wide by Sandu. In the corner it's Mateo Speranza. Speranza backhands that puck down low into the open corner. On his horse chasing that one will be Lachlan Freer. Puck will squirt loose, it's Logan Lorenz. Lorenz carrying out of his own zone, into the middle. And losing the handle on that puck was Jacob Bonkowski. Turn back the other way, guess who, Alexander Sandu. Sandu, he's pinned up along the boards, set down low behind the goal. That'll be taken away by Trent Wilson. Wilson, he'll throw that puck ahead, it'll go off a stick, but Jacob Bonkowski will be there, he's in the far corner. He's got three green on him, and he's still causing some problems for, her, for eventually losing the puck. Back the other way comes Jordan Ewan of the U-17 Thunderbirds. Ewan. He'll get that puck into the attacking zone. Ewan shoots, and a pad save, and they're going to call that on a late offside call as Jordan Ewan came in with a great burst of speed out of his own zone. Ewan, uh, I have a bit of experience with Jordan Ewan coming from the Fraser Valley Thunderbirds myself. A fantastic player. Did great things for that U-17 squad last season who went out in the second round at the hands of the Northwest Hawks. Excellent offensive instincts by you and just keeping going even if the play was going to go offside. You never know what might happen, what the refs might catch, might not catch. Great headstrong player, great hockey IQ. There's another chance in front, tipped on the way through and coming up big there was Dryden DeMello as that got thrown right to the front of the net and a great tip right in front of the goal. We're seeing the Greens play some very opportuni opportunistic hockey. They were burying their own zone a lot earlier in the period. Now, just taking advantage of some puck battles. That'll get forced out into neutral territory, played there by Braden Nagger. Nagger, he'll throw that puck across. Parker Roscoe, and that finds its way into the bench, and we will take a whistle. Faceoff going to be coming up in front of the blue bench. 3.23 remaining in this first period of play at the South Surrey Arena. Game one of the Surrey Eagles ID camp for 2022. Puck will get dumped in. Charlie Tripp behind his own goal to play that puck. Long shot tipped on the way through. Not enough on that one. As Nishan Parmar was looking for his second of the game. Back the other way comes Green, but they'll come in offside. Bevacqua, he'll force that puck ahead for Blue. Parmar up for Richardson. Richardson, he'll try to get around his man. Richardson will get pulled down and that'll be another penalty coming up. Power play to end the period for the Blues here. Richardson, excellent job driving to the net with strength, power, drive, everything you could really ask for. You know, it's about drive, it's about power. <laughs> Third power play opportunity of this first period for Blue. They're 0 for 2 with the man advantage, but did get some momentum leading to the Parmar opening goal. Back to the box sits Braden Nagger. Blue's going to try and work a bit of magic here to end this period. I get forced down low. Trying to work there is Mahill. Miles Bergen throws that puck down low for Mahill. He'll wrestle for it. It'll get pulled loose. Back up to the point. Pearson. Pearson trying to get away from the four checker. Pearson. Up top, long shot in. That'll get deflected on the way through. Green, good job to corral that one, but they can't clear the zone. Here's Pearson at the line. Pearson, trying to throw down the wall. It'll get picked off on the way through. Near side corner. Bergen bumps that along and he'll get it back. Throws to the point. Bode Pearson. Pearson, he'll make a nice move. Pearson, down low. Pass in front, a good shot can't be taken there. Trey got his pad down. Fired back into the corner. That'll get set around hard by Cash Dumka Jones, but it's held in at the blue. Here we are behind the goal. 
Finds its way out, back the other way comes Green. There's a chance for a short-handed chance for Dawson Toledo. Toledo, he'll make a nice move. But that'll be forced out by Bode Pearson. Good job, stand at the top of the crease. Pearson. Throws that puck down low. Pearson will get it back. Near side boards. Picked up loose, Trent Wilson. Wilson, pass across, shoots, he scores! Colin Adderlini came down from the left point, found himself all alone right at the left hash. Pearson throws that puck down low. Pearson will get it back. Near side boards. Picked up loose, Trent Wilson. Wilson, pass across, shoots, he scores! Completely different game going into the second period. Green still got 10 seconds to work with. They got him in with a burst of speed here. Joel Plant lost the handle on that one. He'll get pinned up. And Blue's gonna force that puck out and that'll do it for the opening frame here. A 2-1 lead for Team Blue over Team Green here at the Surrey Eagles ID camp. We're gonna step aside for a quick 30 seconds while the two teams catch their breath. We'll do the same here. Your score after the first period of play. Team Blue two, Team Green one. Joey and James from the South Surrey Arena. Welcome back, second period of play, South Surrey Arena, green and blue. Blue has a 2-1 lead after 25 minutes here at the South Surrey Arena. Neutral territory, blue trick looking to add to the lead here, it's Trent Wilson, throws down low, pass in front, and that'll go just wide. Loose in the corner. Green causing some serious problems behind the net as they look to even this thing back up. That'll be forced out of the zone there. Ryland Bonkowski, or at least he tries to. Held in the zone by Andrew Casalotto. Casalotto down low. Cas Soda. Back for Casalotto. Up top at the point. Here's Owen Blythe. Blythe, he'll gain the red line, fires that puck into the attacking zone. Rotated to the open corner, Blake Colton. Gone through it down low. In front of the goal, shot, and a great stop made off Plant. Into the corner, Plant will get tied up there. Squirts loose. Sent down low by Freer. Loose behind the goal, picked up by Adderlini. Adderlini will fire that off the near side boards. It's a chance back the other way for Blue. Shot at the crossbar, and that'll go up and out of play. A great rush and a great burst of speed there by Jacob Bonkowski. Beat the goaltender up high, did not beat the goal post. This game remains 2-1. to one. Bonkowski really had his head on a swivel there too, keeping his eyes open for any players on his team coming in for assistance. But, you know, went for the shot, and a couple inches lower, that's in. Well, I mean, you have a lane like that, you have to take it. You have to take it. Neutral zone faceoff coming out, that'll be controlled by Green. Freer. Tried to force that puck ahead for Mateo Speranza. Speranza couldn't get the handle on it. He's fighting in the corner for his dear life now. Coming out with that puck is Blue. Held into the line, Parker Roscoe. Roscoe lost the handle on that puck. Taken away by Antonio Bebequa. Tried to throw it up to his open man. 
Missed him, not enough for an icing call, however. Working it behind the net. Nishan Parmar. Parmar's already got one. Turn the puck over, back the other way. It's a chance for Savic Brar to break out of the zone. Into the attacking zone. Shot off the pad and wide. Freer lost it. Pass into the slot, shoots off the goal post again. Couple of great chances here for Blue to add to the lead, but they can't capitalize so far. Back the other way comes Green. Brar shot just wide of the goal. Back in his own zone, Alexander Sandu. Sandu feeds that puck across for Cash Dumka Jones. Dumka Jones, nice feed ahead. Brar shot, stop made, and that'll go up into the netting and out of play. Played three and a half minutes here in the second period. Still a 2-1 lead for Blue. 2-1, but it could have really evened up there. A yeah, uh, couple puck battles, a couple missed opportunities. Green continues to take advantage of every bouncing puck, every loose puck. They're really hounding it and taking advantage of when they can. A face off win for Green. Tipped on the way through and that'll be another pad save as Jordan Ewing got a stick on that one. Another chance, pad save made. It's Liam Hollett in goal. Uh, we get cleared out, that'll go off a stick. Pardon me, it will not, but it will not make it all the way down. That'll get waved off on the way through. Henry Smith. Smith will try to work it out of his own zone. Smith to his own blue and now the red. Smith lost the handle on that puck, back the other way. Blue into the attacking zone. Pass across and that'll hit a skate on the way through and find its way into the corner. Picked up there by Jordan Ewan. Here comes Jordan Ewan into the attacking zone. He's in one on one. Ewan lost the handle on that puck. And losing his stick on that play was Kaz Soda and lost possession due to it. Back the other way comes Blue. Verk lost the handle on it in the corner. That'll squirt loose into the front of the net, right onto the tape of Bode Pearson. Nager into the attacking zone. He tried to drop that for Ewan, pass never found it to him. Ewan will go after it himself. Ewan into the corner. He'll get stopped up there. Puck squirts loose, back the other way comes Team Blue. Can't get it farther than the red line as he's stopped up by Nagger. Nagger, he'll backhand that one across. Amar Sadu. He'll try to work it to the front of the goal. He's tied up by a pair of blues. And he can't do anything with that one. He'll be forced back out into neutral territory. But it's stopped up in the neutral zone one more time. Bit of that horizontal hockey here as they can't get out of the neutral zone. Here's a chance. Dawson Toledo, he'll try to work his way to the front of the net, crash the goal, and the net will come off its moorings as he made a bit of contact there with Liam Hollett. Did a real back and forth there on the transition game. Neither team really gaining any traction there. It's truly a game of inches here, battling in the trenches between the two blue lines. Finally managed to break through, and uh, Liam Hollick got the worst of that one. I don't think he saw the puck, but he certainly saw a body. Yeah, talk about trenches. <laughs> Fell right in the trench. Yeah. Still a 2-1 lead here for Team Blue. 18-33 remaining in this second period. Green trying to work that puck in the attacking zone, but they can't do anything with that one. Back the other way comes Blue. Bonkowski can't get a shot off as Jacob came in with a burst of speed. Jacob Bonkowski throws back the line, Aberlini. Adelini lets go a long shot, easily handled. <laughs> no traffic in the front of the net on that one. Quick e flash of the leather, all it needed. When you have good sight lines for your goaltender, it makes it very easy to stop the puck. This is hockey 101, it's a very basic concept. If a goaltender can see the puck, nine times out of 10, he's gonna stop it. Here's Blue. Tied up and forced out the second time around by Kaz Soda. But picked up there by Adderlini. Adderlini's been very good on the blue line for Team Blue. Trent Wilson feeds that puck across. Sent down low by Lorenz. Back for Trent Wilson. 
Carried out back the other way. Here comes Kaz Soda. Try to throw a puck ahead out of the reach of Quaid Giroux. Down low, Bonkowski. He's got a pair of greens on him. Coming in to give him a helping hand, there's McCarthy Richardson. Lost the handle on it, he's forced to retreat back to his own blue line. Here's a chance back the other way for Joel Plants as he's trying to cause some problems here. Finds an open man. Freer, shot just wide of the goal. The rebound on the wraparound, he hit the goal post. Still loose shot, they score. Never give up on a play, and Joel Plant ties this game up at two goals apiece. On Here's a chance back the other way for Joel Plant as he's trying to cause some problems here. Finds an open man. Freer, shot just wide of the goal. The rebound on the wraparound, he hit the goal post. Still loose shot, they score. Never give up on bodies at the net. 2-2 hey. hockey game here at the South Surrey Arena in game one of the elite ID camp for the Surrey Eagles. Forced back out into the neutral zone. Henry Smith will try to chip that down low. And his goal to play that one is Liam Hollett. Alec McDonald through that puck ahead. Speranza, or pardon me, Bevacqua trying to work that puck out. Green Corrals, long stretch pass ahead. Here comes Joel Plant. And that'll get blown dead on and off side as Plant just took that with a man a step or two ahead, and we will take a whistle here. 9.20 gone by here in this second frame. Neutral yeah. zone faceoff upcoming. You know, this score is really telling. Uh, these teams just still feeling each other out. All of these players feeling each other out. A lot of determination, though. Starting to see certain chemistries building between certain players as well. Chance back the other way for Green. Here's Henry Smith. He'll throw the body and fall down in the process. Comes loose for Plant. Plant back into his own zone. Dumka Jones. Plant. Nice pass ahead, but it'll bounce off the skate of Andrew Casalotto. Can't do anything with that one. Puck fired off the boards there. Chance for Blue. Miles Bergen. Bergen into the attacking zone. He'll get wrestled to the ice, undetected by the official. Casalotto sends that along the near side boards. Down low, Miles Bergen. He'll get pinned up. Puck squirts along to the far side boards. Down from the line. Bode Pearson tried to send it down low. Missed his intended target. Coming down for the line is Sakonis to try to play that one. Drew Sakonis. Pass in front, stick save made. The rebound sits loose on the doorstep. Can't clear the pocket, sitting loose in the slot one more time. And this time, stick handle out of harm's way by Henry Smith. Smith sends behind his own goal there, picked up by Cash Dumka Jones. Dumka Jones can't clear the zone. He's got a couple blue on him. Jacob Bonkowski. Still causing tons of problems down there for the defensive line for Team Green. Puck will squirt loose. Held into the blue line and shoved back down low by Miles Bergen. Bergen's heading straight to the bench. He'll try to get a change in there. And that puck will find its way into the neutral zone. Played there by Drew Sakonis. Sakonis ahead for Jacob Bonkowski. Bonkowski into the attacking zone. Shoots! And that'll be swallowed up by the netminder. Great positioning. Top of the blue paint, not a lot of holes there. I mean, obviously, we're not against the shot, so we can't see it perfectly, but great positioning there. You know, you said not a lot of holes. I think Drew Sakonis fell right out of a hole. That, that could have been a tough chance, an automatic rush going the other way. Great recovery and getting it to Bonkowski. Speaking of Bonkowski, here he is one more time. Bonkowski back to the point. Into the middle, Lorenz. He lets go a shot and struggling, but still making the stop there. We saw last period the blue team take control with a lot of offensive zone time. Wonder if we're gonna see that again. Well, blue really likes to carry that play there. Finds his way back down to the blue end. Goaltender out of the net to play that one as Liam Hollett was skating. Here's a chance there, sharp angle shot. Stopped 
as Alexander Sadu had a pretty good chance there. And we've hit the halfway mark of our second period of play. And we will hit our ice clean, I believe. It's been and hard not to keep an eye on Mateo Speranza so far. Speranza has been very good in this game, and he seems to be really gelling well with Joel Plant. The two of them have burst of speed, and they seem to be able to find each other in quick succession, rather. I mean, they s it's not like a twin telepathy yet or anything. I don't want to make, but like maybe like distant cousins, you know? Yeah. Like twice removed sort of thing. It's like, oh, well, I know he's going to be down there at the barbecue, so maybe I'll just bring him a couple lemonades while I'm walking, <laughs> you know? <laughs> the kind of chemistry we'll see at a family dinner. <laughs> yeah, you know, sort of thing. The two that will team up in a game of risk to take out the other mm -hmm. family members, mm -hmm. right? But then might turn on each other later. <laughs> we will be taking a break here as we step aside for the ice clean. A 2-2 score between Team Green and Team Blue in Game 1 of the Surrey Eagles Elite ID Camp. Live from the Surrey, or pardon me, live from the South Surrey Arena inside the Surrey Eagles Perch. That's what we're going to call the broadcast booth this season, the Perch. Are we going Perch? Or we're going yeah. the Eagles Perch. I like the Eagles that. Perch sounds good. We'll step aside. Stay tuned. We'll have the second half of the second period after this.
think the NCAA guy. Welcome back to the South Surrey Arena. Joey and James coming to you live from the Eagles Perch. Game one of the Elite ID camp for the Surrey Eagles. A 2-2 score between Team Green and Team Blue. Casalotto behind the goal for Team Green. Casalotto, he'll throw up top. Henry Smith, he'll make some moves with the Blue. Blue will try to work that puck out. That'll get turned over, however. Blake Cotton lost the handle on that puck. Back the other way comes Team Blue, it's Jacob Bonkowski. Bonkowski will kick that puck up to his skate. Into the slot, leaves behind, drag, can't get a shot off, is coming into the zone with Trent Wilson. Got a great pass there from Bonkowski into the slot, but he couldn't do anything with that puck. Fired into the attacking zone, Liam Hollett behind his own goal to stop that one. Finds his way into neutral territory. Jordan Ewan tried to take it for a skate for Green, but he overskated that puck. Blue into the attacking zone. Lorenz lost the puck in the slots, taken by Jordan Ewan. Here's Ewan for Team Green. Jordan Ewan with a burst of speed, trying to get around his man. He'll lose the handle on that puck, but poked it right in front of the goal. Nobody in the slot, and he will draw a penalty there. A great play by Jordan Ewan. Draws the holding call. And for the first time in this game, Team Green will head to the power play. Team Blue is 0 for 3 so far, but they did manage to get one off the ensuing momentum off their first power plays. Nishan Parmar ripped her high to the blocker side. It was something a little bit earlier in the play as well. Uh, goaltender Matthew can do so, getting his first touch on the puck there with a nice poke check to disrupt yeah. the play. For realsies this time, Matthew can do so in goal. <laughs> Face off win for Green. It's Jordan Ewan won that draw. Back of the line, Nagger. He'll get pinned up along the boards there by Miles Bergen. Pulled loose, Soda. Nagger, down low. Finds its way up. Cash Dumka Jones. He'll fire that one into the corner. Turned over. Blue will fire that puck down the length of the ice. Can't do so out of his goal to stop that one. Leaves that one behind, Braden Nagger. He'll regroup behind his own goal. 33 seconds gone by in their man advantage. Nagger throws that puck ahead. That'll get rung around the near side boards all the way out into neutral territory. Over the stick of Cash Dumka Jones and all the way behind the net. Can do so stops that one. Cash Dumka Jones, long stretch pass ahead. Into the attacking zone, it's Mateo Speranza. Speranza leaves behind. Nagger for Speranza. Speranza, he'll chip that along the far side boards. Sends that puck down low. Kaz Soda back for Mateo Speranza. Speranza at the hash marks. Nagger back for Speranza. Speranza down low, Soda. Soda holds up top, Braden Nagger. Let's it go up top and over top of the goal. Comes loose for Speranza, shoots, he scores! Mateo Speranza, an absolute Bomb of a shift for Mateo. Back for Mateo Speranza. Speranza at the hash marks. Nagger back for Speranza. Speranza down low, Soda. Soda holds up top, Braden Nagger lets it go up top and over top of the goal. Comes loose for Speranza, shoots, he scores! Now, Mateo Speranza had a great year with that U18 Fraser Valley Thunderbird squad that I previously mentioned. It was up there like most of the season up there for leading score, battling with Alejandro Delion, who was who ended up going to the Sherwood Park Crusaders, who ended up finishing as the leading goal scorer in the U18 division last season. But not to be outdone, Mateo Speranza battling with captain Gavin Giesbrecht and nearly ended up coming out with the points lead. There's a long shot in on goal, swallowed and battered away by Hollett. Pinned up along the far side boards. Speranza again. Speranza gets bumped off that puck by Bode Pearson. Those two had some battles last year at Abbotsford Center and the Langley Events Center. Oh, he got shoved down low, Parker Roscoe. Roscoe at the line. He'll throw it into the open corner. Nobody home and that'll get picked up by Bode Pearson. Pearson with that loose puck. He'll get stick lifted and Green will try to steal possession again, squirts loose into the near side corner. Here's Sandu. Sandu trying to cut to the net and a great stick there by Liam Hollett. Come on, come on, come on. 
Chance for Blue to try to break it out of their own zone. Here comes Antonio Bebequa. Feeds that puck ahead for Nishan Parmar. Parmar trying to drop pass, couldn't find his intended target. He'll send it down low now. But one more time, no intended target in sight. Long stretch pass back the other way comes Team Green. Amar Sidhu tried to throw that in front of the goal, unable to get his stick down with Giroux. Here's a chance back the other way. Stretch, break, Lorenz, stop by Canduso. It's an a important great look save there for, for Logan Canduso. Lorenz. Yeah, Canduso, coming in after an ice clean, especially when the team can have a bit of momentum, it's never a great sign for a goaltender. So if you can get a couple touches on that puck early, definitely makes a big difference for the way you're gonna play going forward. Bonkowski trying to walk the line, unable to do so. And we'll take another whistle. A little Rod Stewart here at the South Surrey Arena, you know, keeping her funky. Yeah, I got to liven up the crowd, right? Yeah, pretty good turnout here for day one of the ID camps here at the South Surrey Arena. Again, if uh, tomorrow you're looking for a bit of fun, here's a chance here. And Dick scores! Great goal. Trent Wilson came in on a partial break. Pumped her five hole. Keeping her funky. Yeah, I got to liven up the crowd, right? Yeah. Pretty good turnout here for day one of the ID camps here at the South Surrey Arena. Again, if uh, tomorrow you're looking for a bit of fun, here's a chance here. And Dick scores! Great. Reno look to answer back one more time. They'll have that puck in the attacking zone, but they lost the handle on it. Trying to break it out here is Marcus Gill. Gill throws that puck ahead. Wilson leaves behind. Jacob Bonkowski lost the handle on it. Threw it back down low for Wilson. Wilson behind the goal. He tried to flip it over top. Got knocked down on the way through. I think that was the stick of Lachlan Freer that got the job done for Team Green. Puck squirts loose in the near side corner. Picked up by Green and shoved right back into the pile. Finally, he'll come loose into the slot. Good job by Green, but Bonkowski's gonna hold that in before it's finally forced out the second time around by Andrew Casalotto. Been very impressed with the play of Lachlan Freer so far. Here's Good Sakunas. body position. Sakunas lets that go from the top of the left faceoff circle. Easily swallowed up by Candu, so he'll take that whistle. Freer just seems to be in the right place at the right time. Great stick, doing exactly what a coach would love to see. Man, I would, I envy that Surrey Eagles coaching staff who's gonna have to try and reach inside of these four teams that we're gonna see over the next two days and try to pull out a perfect roster to go into this BCHL season because we've seen a lot of talent so far. This is only game one. Puck fired down the length of the ice. Must have been tipped on the way through because the linesman says no icing. Here's Miles Bergen trying to break that puck out. A long stretch pass that'll just get picked off on the way through as there was a chance for a partial break. Back in his own zone, Ryland Bonkowski. Throws that puck across, Miles Bergen. Bergen leaves behind. Pass across, shot, great pad save, Canduso. The rebound trickles loose, and how did Canduso stop that one? All alone in front was Miles Bergen, and he knocks that one down with the paddle, and he'll keep this a tie game, as Matthew Canduso has made the best save of this Saturday so far. Oh, it's up there for sure. There was a bit of a sequence by our earlier green goalie, but that's right, that's right up there. Puck comes loose into the neutral zone. Blue's gonna try and take advantage of that one. They'll gain the blue line, but lose the handle on that one. It's Cash Dumka Jones. Dumka Jones up for Andrew Casalotto. Casalotto, a backhand pass, nobody home. Picked off on the way through by Adderlini. He'll lose the handle on that one. Back the other way comes Green, it's Henry Smith. Smith just feathers that towards the goal. Nobody got a stick on it, and we will take the whistle there as Hallett will just grab a quick glove on that one. You know, Joey, I think that's the play that the Green team needed after a lot of pressure from the opposition. Just get it on the net, get a whistle, and reload. Face off coming up to the left of Hallett. Kaz Soda in to take the draw for Team Green, but he will lose the effort. Here's a chance back the other way for Blue, it's Speranza. Speranza shoots, he scores! 
What a, or pardon me, that was Antonio Bebequa, the former Fraser Valley Thunder. Kaz Soda in to take the draw for Team Green, but he will lose the effort. Here's a chance back the other way for Blue. It's Speranza. Speranza shoots, he scores! That's the old Pavel Dotsuk. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, the uh, the old Magic Man officially announced his retirement from pro hockey after 22 years the other day. So all the best to the greatest stick handler in the history of the game. And he was a wonder to watch. Loose in front. Bevaqua, he let that one go through traffic, and he just missed on the glove side. Bevaqua, no stranger to scoring on Canduso. Back the other way comes Green. Pass in front and tipped just wide of the goal there. A great chance there for Green to answer back. It's really opening up here, hey, Joey? That's all you can hope for. You're looking at some great hockey. The people who uh, scraggled their way into the South Surrey Arena here on a warm Saturday in Surrey are getting treated to some pretty good hockey here. I can't think of a better way to cool off. <laughs> Watch some young, talented players score a few goals. Yeah. Turn back the other way. It's Owen Blythe into the attacking zone. Finds Kaz Soda. Soda into the middle. Savic Brar. Behind the goal. There's Mateo Speranza. Pile of blue and green in the corner. Team Green's gonna come out with that puck. Pass. Blythe, shoot, stop. The rebound sits loose, and it's just poke checked out of harm's way. Back the other way comes Blue, and he's in one on four. Hollett recovered just in time there. He looked a little bit startled by that one, the way it trickled out. Bonkowski lost the handle on that puck. That'll get sent around to the other side. Playing it there is Sakonis. And that'll get deflected off a stick, up and out of play. And we will get a whistle. 30 seconds remaining in the second period. Just enough time for one more chance, I might say. Game really opened up post ice clean. Neutral zone draw coming up. Face-off win for Blue. Lost the handle on Here's a chance back the other way. Shoots, he scores! Coming in all alone was Alexander Sand. Game really opened up post-ice clean. Neutral zone draw coming up. Face-off win for Blue. Coaching staff. When we come back here, we will have the third period of play as we will take our little 30-second break here. Joey and James coming to you from the Perch live at the South Surrey Arena. We'll talk in a moment. Period number three, live from the South Surrey Arena, day one of the Surrey Eagles Elite ID Camp. Joey and James coming to you from the perch. Really saw the ice tilt back and forth a lot after the ice clean in the second half of that second period. Chances galore, as they say. Here's a chance for Blue, trying to feather it through and he scores a fantastic effort there by Logan Lorenz as he'll shove her. In the second half of that second period. Chances galore as they say. Here's a chance for Blue, trying to feather it through and he scores a Just a back and forth matchup. Here for game one. Gained by Green at the red line and fired into the attacking zone. Into the attacking zone, the pass across, shoots, great pad save. The rebound sits loose. Into 
into the attacking zone. There's a chance they score! A great shot there by Jacob Bonkowski. He'll beat his goaltender high. Bad save. The rebound sits loose. Into the attacking zone. There's a chance they score! A great shot there by Jacob Bonkowski. So we have Pulver in goal for Team Blue, Trent in goal for Team Green right now, for those keeping track at home, and that includes myself. Puck will come loose in the corner, but Green is going to carry that one out as Casalotto. Casalotto now throws that puck across. In for Lachlan Freer, that'll get sent down low. Behind the goal is Joel Plant. Plant will try to work that out. Plant down low. He'll find Cotton. Cotton up to the blue line. Cash Dumka Jones, he'll let that go. Hit a stick on the way through and deflects into the corner. Picked up by Plant. Plant threw a nice pass across for Lachlan Freer, but he just couldn't accept it cleanly. Back the other way comes Blue. Mahill, he lost the handle on that one after a great defensive effort by Dumka Jones. Trying to work it in. Bergen, his shot goes wide. Mahill, the pass into the slot, nobody home. And that'll go all the way back down into the green zone. Or pardon me, the blue zone. That's turned over, a chance for green. And that'll get thrown right at the goal and knocked away by Pulver. Clearing attempt, nobody home. And that'll be fired the length of the ice. And that will be enough for an icing call as we will take the whistle. You know, there's something to be said for a goaltender coming into a game this late. It's got to be one of the tougher things in sports. Sometimes you'll see coaches, even when their goaltender's under siege, five, ten minutes left, they won't put the backup goalie through that, or in this case, the other goalie. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very, I don't know, as a former goaltender, I've always had my issues with it, but then again, though, I played house, so I had to do the split anyway. <laughs> exactly. I never. Everybody I, gets a turn, right? Long dump in, easily handed by Pulver. There's a chance for Blue to try to break this puck out of their own zone. It's Nishan Parmar, he opened the scoring. Nice pass ahead. Shot, and that'll get deflected up and out of play. And as I believe Parker Roscoe got a stick in there before it found its way to Charlie Tritt, and we will get another whistle there. Twenty-one fourteen remaining in this third period of play, game one of the Elite ID camp. Face off, one by Blue. Down low, Parmar. Parmar, he'll get bumped off the puck there by Nagger. Into the corner, picked up by Kaz Soda. Sent back down low. Parmar, he'll try to cut to the net, chipped it, and it was deflected wide by a defensive stick. Nagger will flip that out all the way down. That'll be played away by the goaltender, Pulver. Soda in there causing some problems on the forecheck. He'll lose the puck. Back the other way. Parmar leaves that puck behind. Rylan Bonkowski sends it down lower. At least he tried to. He lost the handle on it. He'll get it back. Bonkowski, Parmar in front. Can't get a clean shot on goal. Green will try to clear this puck out of harm's way. It's Amar Sadu. Pass in front. And unable to get a shot away there was Mateo Speranza, who's already got a goal in this game. Speranza has looked very good. Generally playing on a line with Joel Plant. Puck pinned up along the near side boards, taken out by Bode Pearson. Feeds it across. Bevacqua lost the handle on that puck. Green will try to work it back. Chance back the other way. Alexander Sandu lost the handle on it. Colin Aberlini, drop pass. Drag move. Couple of nice moves made there by Trent Wilson and a big smile on his face after he did it. Well, hey, Hockey's about having fun. Yeah. Here's Bonkowski working his way through. Gets around a man, into the slot, shoots. Great pad save. 
Another chance for Bonkowski. Bonkowski's looked very good in this. There's a nice pass in front, shot, great stop made. And the rebound is corralled by Tritt, who made no mistake stopping that one as Blue was starting to run around a little bit there. Well, you know, after the last goal that Tritt let in, he slid out to the top of his crease and really shook it all out, you know. Felt all the swagger, he felt his confidence come back. I think that last save is very good for him. Well, I had an old hockey coach who used to tell me 90% of goaltending is believe in your own BS. And, it looked, and if you can do that, you have your confidence, and it's all a confidence game when you're playing between the pipes. Here's a chance for Green to break this puck out. Chance for Jordan Ewan to skate onto that puck. Ewan trying to cut to the net, and it'll be picked off on the way through with a great defensive effort by Aberlini. Aberlini sends it behind his own goal. And they'll break that puck out now. It's Logan Lorenz. Lorenz leaves that puck behind. Shot just wide of the goal as Trent Wilson let that one go, looking for number two on the afternoon. All the way back into his own end, picked up there by Joe Von Brar. Over to Sakunas. Sakunas back for Brar. Brar almost lost the handle on that one as Jordan Ewan was in there on the forecheck. Back the other way comes Blue. Ewan will steal that puck for Green. Uh, from the line, a long shot going wide of the goal was sticked aside by Tritt. As Jovan Brar let that one go, he'll send it down low again. In front shot, great toe save by Tritt. It's getting better and better every touch, Joey. It's all the confidence game, and when you make a stop like that, it's hard not to be confident. Couldn't Held agree into more. the line by Brar. Brar, he'll send down low. Pass in front, picked off by Jordan Ewan. A great defensive effort by 18 in green. Trying to work some magic down low is Mahill. Mahill shoots. And Bergen let that go, swallowed up by Tritt. And we will take the whistle. Well, the blue team throughout this game is really flourish on just keeping it in the offensive zone. You know, it's funny, like, Blue almost seems like they have their foot off the gas at times. Here's Casalotto. Casalotto, the pass across, shot just wide. The rebound finds its way in front, and they score. That'll be knocked home there, and another great chance. The blue team throughout this game is really flourish on just keeping it in the offensive zone. You know, it's funny, like, Blue almost seems like they have their foot off the gas at times. Here's Casalotto. Casalotto, the pass across, shot just wide. The rebound finds its way in front, and they score. That'll be that will be Plot getting that goal there. Blue's gonna look to answer back in the slot shot. Great off the shaft of the stick, a la Roberto Luongo. You know, keep that puck out of the net. A great stop by Tritt. Pass in front. That'll be picked off on the way through. Back the other way comes Team Green. They'll look to even these, this thing up. Into the attacking zone is Wilson. Pass in front. Unable to do anything with that one was Freer. Pass back. Nagger shot, scores! Through a sea of legs, a seeing eye shot, and a tie game here. Back the other way comes Team Green. They'll look to even these, this thing up. Into the attacking zone, it's Wilson. Pass in front, unable to do anything with that one was Freer. Pass back. Nagger shot, scores! That'll be sent down low by Plant. Plant's in for Cotton. Cotton tried to throw that puck up for Casalotto. He missed it. Back the other way comes Team Blue as they look to respond. They're in three on one. Shot just wide of the goal. And that was Antonio Bevacqua who let that shot go. Here's Casalotto into the attacking zone for Team Green. Backhand pass got picked off. Good defensive effort there by Drew Sakunas. Pass into the slot, nobody home. Skated on to by Blue. And it'll be sent down low, skated on to 14 Green by Lachlan Freer. 14.30 remaining in the third. 6-6 six, six tie. Back the other way comes Green. Long stretch pass up for Casalotto. He's in on a partial break. Casalotto had the puck bounce over his stick and he couldn't get a shot off. And Casalotto's gonna be kicking himself after that one. Here's a chance back the other way. 
Bevacqua, he dumps that puck in. That'll be taken away and skated out by Henry Smith. Here comes Smith across the red line with a burst of speed. He's got a couple green with him. Smith trying to backhand pass. Nobody home. It got picked off. Skating onto that loose puck is Kaz Soda. Back of the line, Henry Smith. Smith lets that shot go, deflected off a stick. One more time, Soda lets that shot go. Stick save made into the corner. Soda throws back. Here's a chance back the other way. Bonkowski into the slot, lets it go, and he just missed on the glove side. The rebound bounces off the end boards to the front of the goal, but he manages to get a glove on that one. Face off coming up to the left of Tritt. Puck forced out into the neutral zone. Jacob Bonkowski on that puck. Lost the handle on it. Here's a chance to break into the zone for Green. Ash dump to Jones. He'll send it down low. Sent down low on the other side by Matteo Speranza, but it'll go right onto the tape of Adderlini. Adderlini tried to throw it up for Bonkowski. He's got it. Bonkowski in three on one, the pass across, scores! A great pass by Bonkowski and Lorenzo finished that thing up and it's a 7-6 lead for Team Blue on a game where the goals started coming and they don't stop coming. Well, you gotta think with all these ch chances that Bonkowski's created that something's gonna happen again. A couple converted early on, but now, here we go. 12-18 remaining in this third period, a 7-6 score between two evenly matched teams in game one of the ID camp. Down low it's Sandu. Sandu tried to feed it for Brar, but Brar lost the handle on it. Back the other way will come blue. It's Bonkowski one more time. Bonkowski tried to create a lane to the net, but he gets poke checked on the way through on a great defensive effort there by Alexander Sandu. Back in his own zone, it's Jovan Brar. Brar, nice pass ahead. Here's Logan Lorenz. Lorenz. And a backhand chance there for Trent Wilson. Didn't find its way through, but Wilson's got it back. For Bonkowski, he shot, just missed on the glove side. Saw things starting to get a little chippy for Bonkowski there. Quick cross check. Puck pinned up behind the goal of Tritt. That'll get swung out. Picking up on the sideboards there is Marcus Gill. Gill, he'll send that one down low. Trent Wilson lost the handle on that one. Here's a chance for Mateo Speranza to break in. Speranza, he'll spin off a check in the near corner. Leaves that one behind. Here's Sandu. Sandu around behind. He tries to wrap around. That'll be stopped. The rebound finds its way into the corner as Pulver stopped that one. Move made at the line there. Freer. Tried to feed that one in, got picked off by Team Blue, and they'll try to break this puck out. Mahil lost the handle on that puck, back the other way. Comes Team Green. Shot, pad save made. The rebound will come all the way to the point. Fired in, it's loose, Ewan drops that puck. Shot, stop made by Pulver. Prior and to the shot, that was one of the quicker uh, shifts I've seen from Mateo Speranza. On the ice, off the ice. Must not have seen too much of a lane for himself. It's very, now I don't want to say anything that's going to make it sound like he's a selfish player who takes long shifts, but he's a guy who can generally find lanes for himself and not tire himself out. You know, he can do that little curl pocket thing, conserve the energy, and he's ready to go at the drop of a hat. Still a 7-6 lead for Team Blue. We've had tons of goals here in game one at the South Surrey Arena. Turned over. Chance for Green, but the pass was a little bit out of the reach, and that'll go all the way down. Not enough for an icing. Ooh, it will be enough for an icing call. A very close call. That one surprised me, I must say. Faceoff is going to come back down into the green zone. Chance for Green to break that puck out, but it'll be stopped up in the neutral zone there by Bode Pearson. Here's Jordan Ewan. Ewan 
He'll spin at the top of his circles. It'll get tipped in. Pulver leaves his goal to play that puck. Braden Nager. Nice pass ahead. Here's another two on one shot. Scores! That'll make it eight to six. And on another great play by Team Blue as they're finding odd man rushes all over the ice. Able to find these lanes. And I feel like Green is making. I wouldn't say bad pinches, but they're certainly not the most ideal, the ones that you could be making, leaving these opportunities for odd man rushes. And it's really not fair to their, fair to their goaltender. No, I agree. I wouldn't say that Charlie Tritt has played any worse than any of the other goaltenders that have played on green so far. He's trying I, his best. I, I, would ex I would extend that to both sides of the ice yep. for Team Blue as well. 8-18 Eight, remaining in this third period of play, an 8-6 lead for Team Blue. However, we, we already know that's not insurmountable. Here's a chance as Green's going to try and answer back. Cotton stole that behind the net. Casalotto blocked his own man's shot, and it'll find its way out into the neutral zone. Played there by Henry Smith. Smith lost the puck. There's a long shot, goes wide of the goal. Here's Bevacqua. He'll backhand that down low. Nishan Parmar lost the handle on that puck. That'll be forced out. Here's Andrew Casalotto. His man had his stick lifted, it's loose. Bevacqua, he lets go a shot, missed wide on the blocker side. Turned over, here's a chance back the other way, it's Plot. Plot overskates that puck, skating onto it, however, is Cotton. Cotton let go a shot, missed the net. Nagger down from the line to play that one. Behind that, Cotton, in, long shot! That'll be tipped up top, off the stick of the goaltender. Cleared out of harm's way here. Adderlini trying to do something with that puck. He'll just leave behind for a bit of help. They'll try to regroup behind the net. But there's a good forecheck here by Green. Dumped into the far corner. Skating onto that puck will be Cash Dumka Jones. Dumka Jones will lose the handle on that one, however. But he'll hold the line. Dumka Jones threw that puck on goal. Pad save made by Pulver. Backhand down low. Casalotto, he's got a pair of blue on him. Here's a chance back the other way. Antonio Bevacqua, he's in one-on-one. -on -one. Bevacqua uses the D-man as a screen. Let's go a shot. Pad save for Tritt. Puck. Here's another chance. Look at the moves. Stopped by Tritt. And what a great individual effort there by Logan Lorenz as he's been all over the ice in this game. Good job by Tritt to close the wicket to keep that puck out. Still 8-6 with 6-1-9 remaining. Tritt really had to watch him the whole way with all of the angle changes. Could have gone forehand, could have gone backhand. Looked like Lorenz was going anywhere. Here comes Jovan Brar across the blue. Brar threw a pass across. Didn't find its way to its intended target, Trent Wilson. Wilson, he'll get wrestled to the ice in the corner. Lorenz. Back to play that one. Lorenz. Bunkowski can't get a shot off. Chance for Green to break it out. Just backhanded out of harm's way by Parker Roscoe. Played there by Bode Pearson. Pearson. He's got a pair of greens on him, and he'll be wrestled to the ice hard. Bunkowski in to pick up that loose puck. Here's Lorenz. Lorenz with Bunkowski. Drop pass. Bunkowski backhander. That'll be stopped by Tritt. Rebound is held in the zone. It's Wilson. Wilson. He'll be pinned up by a pair. Puck is pulled loose. Lorenz back for Pearson, but the puck bounced over his stick. Back into the neutral zone with five minutes remaining. 26 to 22 are the shots in favor of Team Blue. Here's a chance back the other way. Shoot, stop made by Pulver. The rebound sits loose at the top of the blue paint. Picked up there, here's Alexander Sandu, lost the handle on that puck. Back the other way comes Blue. Miles Bergen, Bergen, he'll get taken down, no call on the play. Back the other way, it's Green one more time. Henry Smith, Smith, he'll get taken down on the way through. Chance here, Sandu in front, and Speranza had a chance to put that puck into the net, but Blue had tagged up before we got a whistle. And Team Green's going to be going back to the power play here. 
You gotta wonder how much Speranza we're gonna see on this power play, hey? You gotta wonder how Speranza's feeling after having a great chance to get the, his team within one only to have the whistle go. That's right. Frustrated or determined? Only time will tell. One can lead to the other, but it goes both ways. That's a good point. Mateo Speranza out to take this face off for Team Green. Speranza will win that one. Back in their own zone, Team Green regroups. It's Alexander Sandu. Sandu throws that pass behind for Lachlan Freer. Freer across for Nagger. Part of me was Dumka Jones. Speranza for Dumka Jones. He tried to let go a shot, it got blocked on the way through. They'll have to regroup in neutral territory here. Dumka Jones, he's making moves. He'll gain the blue line himself, drops the puck behind. Here's Brar. Sandu, top of the left circle. He'll let go a shot off the glove, but back out. Behind the goal, it's Freer. Freer, up top for Dumka Jones. Good job to hold the line. Dumka Jones feeds in for Brar. Brar lost the handle on that puck. Back the other way comes Blue. He's a chance for a shorthanded chance. Green into the attacking zone. Sandu. Backhander down low for Speranza. He couldn't get a shot off. Speranza up top. Dumka Jones for Speranza. Speranza throws her down low. Behind the goal. It's Brar. But it's turned over. Stolen back there by Freer. He'll try to gain the zone one more time. Threw it back. Nobody home. He has a chance for a shorthanded break. Fanning on the shot there. Easily handled by the goaltender, Tritt. Excellent work from Lachlan Freer to really diffuse that opportunity. Freer's been very good in this game as well. Lots of names have been really jumping off the paper so far in, in game one of this camp. Working his way to the front of the goal there when a great chance was Alexander Sandu, but he just couldn't get a shot off on the backhand. 45 seconds remaining in the power, or in the power play, 100 seconds remaining in this third period. 8-6 is the score in favor of Team Blue. But that could change rather quickly. Kaz Soto will ring that puck around. Comes out to the other side. Stockdale. Threw it across. Nagger for Stockdale. That'll get poked on the way through. Here's a chance back the other way for Nishan Parmar. Parmar's in with Bebequa. Parmar. He'll just dump that into the corner. And that'll go up into the netting and out of play with a minute 10 remaining in the third period. That'll, that'll do it for the power play as well. Yeah, with no delay a game penalty there or any, anything of the kind. Seems like a smart opportunity. We're in the final minute here of game one. Bit of a late change here for Team Blue. Eat off a little bit more time. Hey, if you win, you win. Yeah, they don't ask how. They ask how many. Face-off win for Team Blue. They'll try to hold that puck in the zone, but Green's going to force it out as they want one more look at this. Force out of the zone. Stopped up. Skated on to. Nagger threw it in front, and Jordan Ewan had a golden opportunity to make it 8-7, to seven, but he was denied point blank by Pulver. Lorenz into the attacking zone. Steals it from a defender. It's loose in the slot. Jordan Ewan, he'll try to dance through with seven seconds remaining in the third. Ewan, he's got Soda with him. Jordan Ewan along the near side boards. Ewan, he'll walk and that will do it. An 8-6 final here in game one of the Elite ID camp at the South Surrey Arena. A great victory for Team Blue. And you know, I know we're not picking three stars for this one here, but if you had to, Jacob Bonkowski has to be the look, like has to be the go-to. Uh, if not, Logan Lorenz. Meanwhile, on the other side for Green, we saw great things from Plant and Speranza. So, lots of good things. We will see more of these two teams tomorrow and on Monday. Lots of hockey to go on this weekend down here at the South Surrey Arena. We'll have all the action for you here.
on the stream. And if you got nothing going on, you want to cool down on a hot summer's day here in early July. If you don't want to make the trip down to White Rock, because who wants to deal with traffic, come on down to the South Surrey Arena, watch a little bit of hockey action. So we are going to step aside for the ice clean here. An 8-6 final, Team Blue defeats Team Green. Joey and James live from the Eagles perch at the South Surrey Arena. We will step aside. We'll see you in a moment. Bit of bonus hockey here for you live at the South Surrey Arena. Bit of three on three overtime. Get a little bit of a look at some more talent and speed. Bonkowski behind the goal. Three on three, lots of open ice here. That puck will get thrown back. Sakonis is going to have to go back into his own zone to pick that puck up. Sakonis ahead for Wilson. Wilson in, scores! Nice pass ahead by Sakonis, and Trent Wilson made no mistake. Beating Trent low to the blocker side, the old Barry Nichols shot, and after one of my old coaches in Midget. That's right, you guys are going to be hearing about all my times playing Midget House back in the day. 9-6 <laughs> is the score, as we have uh, an additional 10 minutes of three-on-three -three action here. Chance back the other way for Blue, it's Nishan Parmar. Parmar nearly had his pocket picked on the way by there by Henry Smith. Puck into the neutral zone. It'll be skated in by Joe Von Brar. Brar, he'll leave that puck behind. Speranza lost the handle on that puck. Casalotto. Here's Andrew Casalotto. Turn that puck over. Here's Nishan Parmar. Parmar shoots. He scores. Nishan Parmar gets number two on the afternoon. Another great shot by him. That'll bump her up to 10 6 here. It's the unfortunate part about three-on-three -three hockey for goaltenders. You get hung out to dry a little bit more than you'd like to. I mean, three-on-three, -three, you might as well be playing pond hockey if you're in net. Nishan Parmar, he'll send that around to the other side. Skating to that one is Joe Von Brar. Brar, trying to throw that puck down low. Finds his way to Parmar. Chance for Green to break it out, but they can't do anything with that puck. It's held in the zone by Blue. Parmar, he's got to cut that to the front of the net. Stopped by Tritt. Chance now for Green to break out of their own zone. It's Henry Smith. Smith looks like he'll skate it himself. Smith's in there with Sadu. Lost the handle on that one. Here's a chance back the other way. Bergen shot, hit the post. Miles Bergen went short side, beat Tritt to the glove, did not beat the Red Iron. It'll stay 10 6. Haven't heard a post in a while. Yeah, it's been a minute or two. During that second period, they were hitting them like they were, uh, they counted for goals or something. It was like a road hockey game. Making sure the tenders were still awake. Yeah. <laughs> Ensure the structural integrity of the goal. <laughs> Here's a shot. That'll go over top of the goal. Down for the blue line to play that one. Bode Pearson, but he'll fall down on the play. Chance back the other way for Amar Sadu. 
Sidhu will regroup, wait for his line mates to go for a change. Sidhu leaves behind. Breaking out of his own zone is Cash Dumka Jones. Dumka Jones gains the blue. He got wrestled off the puck by Antonio Bebequa. Chance for Blue to regroup. 6.14 remaining in our in our three-on-three -three portion. I don't want to call it an overtime. Three-on-three -three highlights. Yeah. World of Chell, you know? Yeah. Back the other way comes Team Blue. It's Antonio Bebequa. Bebequa goes D to D. Pearson tried to feather that to the front of the net. That'll get picked off on the way through. Chance back the other way for Team Green. Alexander Sandu tried to throw that to the front of the goal. Got knocked down on the way through. Finds its way into the corner. Picked up by Pearson. Pearson drops. Finds its way for Bevacqua. Bevacqua circling in his own zone. Five and a half remaining. Bevacqua, he'll take it for a skate. Lost the handle on it. The other way comes Green. Alexander Sandu into the attacking zone. Sandu cuts his way into the slot. He'll make a move. Around scores. What a goal by Sandu. Unbelievable effort on that play. Talk about bobbing and weaving. He went every direction except up. <laughs> now we're going to get a goaltending change here. It's going to be Candusa going back in goal for Green. And I believe that will be Hallett back in goal. For Team Blue for the remaining five minutes of three on three. Yeah, always good to get an extra look. See how they respond to uh, so much open ice. You know, as a goaltender, it makes you want to play a little bit deeper in your crease because you have to respect passes a bit more. Here's a chance shot by Lorenz and that hit the post. He's Maybe awake. He was not ready for that one. Here's Verk. Sovin Verk into the slot. High slot, lets that go. Stopped by Candus, but I don't think he knew where that puck was. Back the other way, it's Kaz Soda. He'll wait for help. It'll come in the form of Lachlan Freer. Pass in front, and Freer just couldn't tip that on goal. He'll try to jam that away, stopping that one with the paddle down. Behind the net. Works his way up into the slot. He'll try to get around. He's got one man to beat. If he can get around Alec McDonald, he would have had a clear chance of getting right to the net. Kaz Soda leaves that puck behind. That puck will come out into neutral territory, played there by Braden Wenlock. A lot of readjusting for the green side there. Wenlock sees an opportunity, takes it. Nice move into the middle. Backhand chance, but he was tied up on the way through by Adderlini. Here's a chance back the other way. Bonkowski moves in there with Wilson. Couldn't get a clean shot off. I think it was blocked on the way through by Jordan Ewan. He went for the curl and drag. Bonkowski lost the handle on it a second time. Forced out by Lachlan Freer. Freer will lose that puck. Bonkowski trying to get away from Jordan Ewan. He'll spin off at center, regrouping at his own blue. Sends that one back to the goaltender. That's one way to make a safe change. Trapped in the neutral zone, two and a half remaining. Adderlini just gets across the blue line, but he'll retreat, goes back into neutral territory with 2.15 remaining. Drop pass. To the attacking zone, it's Trent Wilson. Wilson trying to cut to the front of the net, stopping that one with the paddle down was Canduso. Behind the goal, Stockdale nearly had his pocket picked and he will the second time around. Loose puck in the corner after a bit of a bump from behind. Undetected by the official. 100 seconds remaining.
Back the other way comes Team Green. It's Blake Cotton. Cotton into the attacking zone. He's got Stockdale with him. Pass back to the point. Shot over top by Giroux. Gloved down for good measures and played for a defenseman. Ryland Bonkowski threw that puck across. Nishan Parmar. Parmar tried a one-hand pass back for Bonkowski, but it got picked off on the way through. Here's a chance back the other way for Joel Plant. Plant in, shoots, blocker save. By Hollett. Great save there by Hollett. Really just squared up to him. In back the other way, here comes Blue. Shot, glove save, can't do so. And he'll take a whistle here with 45 seconds remaining in this three-on-three -three portion. You know, Joey, I don't know who your goalie of the match is so far, but I go can't do so. Canduso has been very good in this game. But at the same time, I've seen a lot of goalies, you know? Yeah. It's like going to Rip Fest and trying to pick a favorite. <laughs> Honey garlic myself. You can get some Jack Daniels in a sauce. I'm happy. <laughs> Spinning off a check here. It's Mateo Speranza. Speranza's looked great in this game. Speranza into the slot for Plant. Plant's at the point. Throws it down into the corner. Played there by Nagger. Speranz is going to the front of the net. The pass back for Plant will bounce over his stick. Chance for one more rush here. In shoot, stopped by Canduso, and that will do it for the three-on-three -three portion. I'm going to stick around before I say anything here. And that will do it for blue versus green. Blue's going to pick up a 10-7 victory following the 10 minutes of three-on-three. Three. They were up 8-6 prior to that. A couple breakaway goals as green was not used to not having the extra two guys on the ice there, and blue definitely made him pay for it. So that will do it for game one of the Elite ID camp here at the South Surrey Arena. We're going to step aside for a nice clean and get the other two teams ready to go when we come back. We will get things underway for Team Gray and Team Yellow. We'd like to thank you for tuning in. We'll see you in about 15 minutes live from the perch at the South Surrey Arena. It's James and Joey. We'll talk soon.
Welcome back inside the South Surrey Arena as we're getting set for game number two of the Elite ID Camp here at the South Surrey Arena. Getting set for game number two between gray and yellow. Joey Pitt, James Parisi, coming to you live from the perch, the South Surrey Arena. A couple more interesting players to watch in this one is uh, Surrey Eagle Jake Bongo is around. Yeah, Jake Bongo had a great season last year. 24 and 24 for 48 points. Ideally, like, when you're looking for a guy like that, it's perfectly, in 53 games, it's nearly a point per game player, and in the BCHL, that is valuable. You can't ask for much more, Joey. He will be number 12 in gray for those wondering. Mm -hmm. So we learned our lesson last time. So the, the way this is gonna work, three periods of runtime, 25 minutes, followed by 10 minutes of runtime, three on three to close out. Regardless of score, we won't call it overtime. We'll give it the uh, extra frame title. How's that sound? Yeah, we'll call it an extra frame. I thank all of you for joining. Guilford to South Surrey and everywhere in between. Thank you for joining us for this broadcast of the Eagles ID camp. Bongo lost a glove off the face off there. Looks like he's high stepping out the gate though. Chance for Team Gray to try and gain the zone here. It's Bongo himself. Backhand pass in front there, a great chance by Jackson Hungle. Puck loose in front of the net. That'll be carried out. Justin Brar, remember that U17 Fraser Valley Thunderbirds. Puck will take a strange bounce off the stanchion, falls flat on the ice, and that one will get tipped up and out of play, and we will get our first whistle in this one. That would have been a little more fun with fans in the stands. A kid could have taken that puck home. Well, I've seen a few of them running around. I see one down there. Oh. We got a runner. Yeah, might have some puck retrieval here. He's gonna try and crawl his way underneath the railing here. Coaches like puck retrieval. He could be onto something there. Team Yellow will try to gain the attacking zone here. It's Nash Walters. Walters, below the red line, he'll have his pocket picked on the way through by Kabir Shahi. Behind the goal there, Ewan Rennie. Pass in front, unable to get a stick on that one. And the puck will be forced out into neutral territory. Back the other way comes Team Gray. Braden Willis will stand up his man. Back the other way comes Yellow. Logan Johnston, he'll try a drag move. Walks his way to the front of the net. And he just had to keep his head on a swivel there as he nearly got run into next week by Keegan Dunn. Sent back into the far corner. Trying to work that puck out is Logan Johnston. I get sent around to the other side. Sent down low, Michael McIntyre. On the other side, Nash Walters will try to poke that one up. Finds his way to the point, Hunks. Walks, shot, pad save made. Jaden Sharma in goal, or pardon me. Jaden Sharma in goal for Team Yellow right now. Chance for Gray to break it out of the zone. But unable to do it, however, Yellow can't hold either. And we will get a whistle. You know, last game between green and blue, we came pretty familiar with the uh, feeling out process. I think these two teams are just doing that right now. A lot of neutral zone battle. Yellow corralling it in their own zone, it's Cole Miller. Miller, another member of that U17 Fraser Valley Thunderbird squad. Lots of T-Bird representation here today. Puck finds its way out. It's Liam Hunks at his own blue line. He's got a couple four checkers on him. Hunks, nice backhand pass into the middle. Carrying in is Carter Dixon. Dixon sends it around to the other side. Picked up by Anthony Carone. Carone sends it down into the corner. Dixon, he'll get bumped off that puck by Markel. 
Get backhanded up top by Carter Dixon, but it'll be turned back the other way. Here comes Jordan Wales. Wales, he'll try to make moves. Found its way to the front of the net. And I don't think that ended up being a shot on goal on Sharma, but the net will get knocked off its moorings and we will get a whistle here. A little under four minutes gone by here in this opening frame. No score between Team Grey and Team Yellow. Joey and James coming to you live from the perch at the South Surrey Arena. Just one shot on goal through about four minutes here. I think we had about triple that last go around. Here's a chance for Gray. Long shot from the point, easily handled and shoved aside by Sharma. Forced out into the neutral zone. That puck flipped back in by Ty Brassington. Yellow playing it there. Thornley Hall trying to clear it out of the zone. Justin Brar will try to skate onto that puck. Cleared out of harm's way, however. Last second by Brassington. Back the other way. It's Gray. Shot, what a stop made there. Great stop made by Jaden Sharma on that cross crease pass. And now it's gonna get blown dead here. A bit of a play on words, he went spread eagle there. There we go. Oh, I believe he knocked the pegs out, or the net off the moorings there. We will get a whistle. Little under five minutes gone by here. Opening frame, first of three 25 minutes. Uh, runtime periods here at the South Surrey Arena. Those moorings are having a bit of a tough go, Joey. I think they were weakened by all the shots off the post last game. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Not only that, we uh, we know it's a pretty hot day today outside here in South Surrey. Ice conditions, it's a cold rink. Like, we're, we're chilly here. Uh, we've got people up at the broadcast booth wearing sweaters and have blankets on and stuff. However, you know, still hot outside. Ice conditions can be a little bit questionable. We remember the 2011 Cup Final, right? That's There's a chance right. in front, backhander, he scores! What a backhander! Ewan Rennie, a, a rocket. Backhand, bing! Rips her bar down. We'll I couldn't even dream it. of getting that much under a backhand. It's the old flat stick, it's looking like Bobby Hall out there. You ever think about how crazy it is that Mike Bossy scored 50 and 50 with a straight stick? <laughs> yeah, I think I could only maybe do that in my dreams, Joey. <laughs> I, I'd be lucky to do that in NHL for, uh, 22. Whatever one <laughs> we're on, I almost said 14. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I wish, eh? Back the other way comes Gray. Yeah, we'll turn that puck right back around, and they'll come in with a burst. Willis, backhand across. Shot chance there. And Slum, uh, Slum Slick couldn't get a shot on goal there. Chance in front, Gray will corral that one, carrying out of his own zone, Robinstein. Fired down the length of the ice. Hunks into the slot, shoots, he hit the goal post. Went low to the glove side, just hit the outside of the post and a great chance for Hunk. But to no avail. Finds his way back up to the point again. It's Logan Johnson. Threw that towards the net. Had a man going hard. I believe that was Zach Wagnon. However, that will get knocked down on the way through and stopped by the goaltender. Excellent chance from Liam Hunks there. Just got right up to the top of the slot. Al, uh, maybe Sir Eagles alumni Devon Taves. You've been waiting to drop that one all afternoon, haven't uh, you? Oh, I have, I have. Congrats, Couldn't hold it back anymore. Congrats to a former Eagle on achieving the ultimate prize with the Colorado Avalanche, Devon Taves. We are incredibly proud of you. Here's a chance for Gray back the other way. Wales, he'll circle back. He'll find his man joining the rush late. Michael McIntyre, he'll throw that towards the net. It got knocked down by the pile, but it's held in the attacking zone. Not for long, however, back the other way, breaks out yellow. Nash Walters tried to throw that to the front of the net, picked off on the way through by Tate Taylor. Magnin working it down low. Finds Walters, tried to throw it back in front, finds his way up to Hunks at the blue line. Works it along the far side boards, into the corner. That'll be played there by Wagnon. Chance for Gray to break this puck out, and they do. Shahi into the neutral zone. Shot and fighting that shot off. 
is Jaden Sharma. He had a little bit of trouble fighting that on the blocker side. I'm really liking the playing style of Jaden Sharma. He's not afraid to get aggressive and push his chest out when it comes to challenging the opposition. At least in the early stages, seems to play a very wide game. Mm -hmm. Has a bit of long limbs to him. I don't want to use the, the L word or anything, but you know, he has that tendency to him to be long. Right, right. Bit of the lankiness, I'll say it. <laughs> We've seen some successful lanky goaltenders. Well, I mean, look at An uh, Andre Vasilevsky. Yeah. Well, that's a pretty lanky guy there. Contortionist while he's at it. I don't know how much I want to look at him. Those eyes scare me. Keeps him too wide. Here's a chance in for Team Gray. Backhand pass in front. That'll get poke checked away by a defender. Trying to work it here, it's Jake Bongo. Bongo trying to backhand pass in front. Gets knocked down but finds its way to Magnuson. Magnuson trying to slap shot, that got blocked on the way through. Magnuson again, trying to work it down low, into the front. Bongo shot it just wide of the goal. Had high blocker labeled. Back the other way comes Team Yellow. Into the attacking zone, Carone. Carone tried to backhand that out, got blocked on the way through. Carone throws back of the line, Landon Hilditch. D to D pass, walk in the line. Gabrielson, his shot goes wide. Down for the line is Hildes to play that one. Former Valley West Giant. Sharp angle shot, missed well far. Held into the line, Hildes one more time. Sumster down low, trying to find Justin Brar. Comes loose to Carone. Carone, he'll try to switch with Brar, but they lost the puck in the process. Chance for Gray to break this puck out. Robinstein. Jack Baker. Down low. Pass in front. That'll go off the toe of the goaltender and out as Sharma came across. Anticipating a shot and he got the pass with the right toe there. Remains a 1-0 game. Yellow doing a good job on the four check there. It's Ole Gabrielson there, working it down low. Chipped into the near side corner, picking that up is Lucas Robinstein. Loose puck, chance here for Ryden Evers. Over onto the other side, it's Brar. Backhands it down low. Evers, rotates that for Zlomslik. Back at the line, McIntyre, his shot goes high and wide. Coming down for the line on the other side is Braden Willis. Set that one down low, looking to find Ryden Evers, but it didn't find him. Robinstein trying to clear that puck out. He'll get hit, stolen away by Justin Brar. brar has got a man on him, finds its way back to the point. They try to dump it down low, but it'll be picked off on the way through, but they'll get it out as far as center. Here's a chance back the other way for Yellow. Evers into the attacking zone, he's in one on five, a sea of gray around him. Well, preview of the weather report tomorrow here in South Surrey. A lot of gray. Sea of gray, very so nice, Joey. Very go, nice. <laughs> Atmospheric river, you know? <laughs> oh. Never want to see one of those again. Yeah, never. <laughs> nice pass across, just out of the reach. Michael McIntyre threw it back to the point that'll bounce over a stick. Here's a chance back the other way. And Jack Baker unable to win the race for that loose puck. Yellow will try to work this thing out of their own zone. It'll get turned over. Rain Jamison lost the handle on that one. Back the other way comes Team Yellow. Loose puck picked up by Michael McIntyre. Lost the handle on it. Back the other way. It's Rain Jamison. Jamison. Jamison, he'll circle. He's got Wales with him. Down into the corner for Oatman. Long shot for the point, and that'll be seen all the way by Jaden Sharma and swallowed up. Decent amount of traffic there on that one, too. See, they had traffic in front of the net, but they weren't in the right spot to have the traffic, right? You know, it's only a road jam if everybody's in the lanes, but if they pull over to the side, you know, you can still get an ambulance down the way. Way to break it down, Joey. Way to break it down. You know, that's what they do in Germany, eh? You're not allowed to stay in the middle of the lane when you're stuck in traffic. You have to pull over to the side for emergency vehicles. Fun fact for you. Maybe they should try that here. 
You get enough congestion on Highway 1, you might as well give her a shot. <laughs> Yellow will break this puck out of their own zone. There's a chance, and fanning on that shot, unable to capitalize, was Nash Walters. He had a golden opportunity. Thrown to the front of the net. Shot off the glove of the goaltender, but he can't corral it. Miller, he'll throw down low, and Miller will get that puck right back. Miller, backhand pass down. Carter Dixon. Around to the other side, they'll get it deflected up and out of play, and we will get a whistle. Shots on goal are really cranking up here as the period draws on. A bit of a slow start, but... Yeah, considering we only had uh, a one nothing lead in the shot department for Team Yellow in the first five minutes of this game, it's definitely bounced back. 10.45 remaining in this opening frame. Here's a chance at the point. Long shot by Miller goes well wide on the blocker side. Wagner. Coming down for the line and falling was Liam Hunks. He's a chance back the other way for Team Gray. It's an inopportune time to blow a tire. Jordan Wales got stood up there at the blue line. Here's a chance for Gray to work it back again. Puck down low, the pass in front for Wales, but that got deflected on the way through. I think Sharma may have got a stick on that one. Back the other way comes Team Yellow. Into the attacking zone, it's Wagnon. Zachary Wagnon, he'll work his way through. Holtz tried to dump that puck in, got chipped off. And it's gonna be blown dead on and offside. Might be a bit of an early observation, but I'm noticing the gray team is being a little bit stronger on pucks. They don't have the score in their favor just yet. But if they can keep playing a strong game like this, they're destined to at least make a somewhat of an impression on the coaching staff. Hey, there's something to be said for the digger mentality. And there's many guys who make careers out of it. Here's a chance back the other way for Team Gray. Long shot missing well wide on the blocker side. Sharma flailed at that one with the blocker hand. Chance again, Jackson Hungle. Hungle tried to work that puck down low, lost the handle on it. Chance for Yellow back the other way to break it out. Jack Baker. Baker lost the handle on it. Hungle tried to throw that puck across the slot, got picked off on the way through. Here's a chance back the other way. Odd man rush for Yellow. It's Justin Brar. Morrison leaves that puck behind. Ole Gabrielson. Gabrielson. Gabrielson throws that puck across. Braden Willis came down for the line to play, but he couldn't get a shot off. Let's try to throw that puck down low, turned it over. Chance again, Carone. Carone in the far corner. He's got a man on him, it's Markle. Back of the line, Gabrielson. He'll try to get a shot off, but he's tied up on the way through. And finally, Gray has a chance to break this puck out of the zone. Here's Bongo. Left that behind. And Bongo came in offside as he had Hungle a step or two ahead of him, and we will get the whistle. 8.15 remaining in the opening frame, a 6-5 lead in the shot department for Team Gray, and a 1-0 lead in the goals department for Team Yellow. Bit of an interesting tidbit at the end there. After uh, the whistle blew dead and Bongo went offside, he kind of dangled around the player to make sure there was no collision, but he tucked it just inside of the net. Now you pull that in a regular league game, you're not gonna get too many happy faces. But you know, in a camp like this, you can get away with it. There's a long shot in, so You're gonna get up. more fists than happy faces. <laughs> Ryan and Evers let that one go from the left face-off circle, swallowed up by the goaltender. Here's a chance at the line. Miller shot stop, the rebound is tipped on the way through. Trying to get a stick on that one was Jacob Morrison after that great point shot. Puck stays out. Face off one by Gray. Chance there, shot pad save. As, as Auntie Zlomslick got a shot off there. Coming up to the task there with a great pad save. Here's a chance in front of the goal. Slomsic again scores! What a shot there. If at first you don't succeed, what do you do, Joey? Try, try again. It's like riding a bike. Or yeah. cooking filet mignon. 
Yeah, I, I think I could do the first one. I don't know about the second one. Coming up to the task there with a great pad save. Here's a chance in front of the goal. Slavsik again scores. What a shot there. Nah. Two nothing lead for Team Yellow. As Gray's going to answer back, shot a great stop made by Jaden Sharma. Chance back the other way for Team Yellow as they'll look to add to the lead one more time. Walters lost the handle on it. Here's a chance for Gray back the other way. Errant pass picked off by Tate. Or pardon me, it's Michael McIntyre. Yellow trying to work some magic down low. That was thrown in front of the goal there by Rennie. Nobody could get a stick on it. Back the other way comes Team Gray. It's Jordan Wales. Wales, nice drop pass behind. Oatman. Oatman threw that puck across. Picked up there by Wales, but he lost the handle on it. That'll come out back into neutral territory right in front of the Gray bench. Skated onto by Yellow, however, and it's Logan Johnston. Johnston makes a nice move around a four checker. Johnston into the attacking zone. Shoots just over top of the goal on the glove side. The rebound is batted just wide as Nash Walters batted that one out of midair. That'll get fired down the length of the ice and it will be enough for an icing as we will get the whistle. You know, we're seeing some nice puck movement, quick touches, seemingly knowing where each other were by the gray team in, in the offensive zone, but one too many passes and maybe a bit gutsy of a pass could just kind of shut it down and sent the play the other way. Face off one by Yellow. Chance at a shot blocked on the way through. Chance in for Gray. Galata. Threw it across on the other side. It's Jake Bongo working his way out of the corner. Bongo. Try to throw that one to the point. It'll just come outside. It'll be fired back in late by Lucas Robinstein. 427 remaining in the first period of play. Maybe tipped into the attacking zone, but gloved down by a defender. Chance for Gray to answer back here. But first, they got to get the puck out of the neutral zone. Pass across. Breaking out, Cole Galata. Turned over. And flipped into neutral territory. Here they come into the attacking zone. Carone lost the handle on it. Gray will try to answer back. Going after that puck is Jake Bongo. Jackson Hungle's in there on the four check as well. They'll get the puck, come out with it. It's Cole Galata, send it around to the other side. Bongo, Jake Bongo sends it down low. Jackson Hungle, Hungle, he'll get pinned up by a man, made a nice move out of the corner, makes another nice move, but he'll throw that into the slot, but he'll get picked off on the way through. Back the other way comes Team Yellow. Into the attacking zone, Zlom Slick. That takes a strange bounce off the side of the goal there. Team Gray certainly got lucky. They only almost found themselves down by three. Yellow trying to work it out of their own, out of their own zone. Circling back, it's Landon Hilditch. Hilditch has got a man on him. It's Aiden Samuels in on the four check for Team Gray. Shot just over top of the goal as Oldie Gabrielson let that one go. Back to the other way, but we're going to get blown dead on and offside. You know, the score is 2 0 so far, but I feel like there's a lot of back and forth. If just a little bit better puck management by the gray side. I think this is an even game. Well, Jaden Sharma has been very good in goal when he's needed to be for Team Yellow. I'll echo that, Joey. Jaden Sharma has been dynamic, I will say. Dynamic, I like that. Yep. Chance for Yellow to break out of the zone. Just over two minutes left in this opening frame. In game two of the Elite ID camp. Held in the attacking zone by Michael McIntyre. Chance here for Yellow to add to their lead. Fired down low by Rennie. Into the middle. Rennie got it back. Rennie. Ewan Rennie. He'll one hand that behind the goal. He's got Johnston with him. Rennie. 
into the spin cycle, trying to cram that short side. Can't get it between the post and the pad. Comes back to the line, Michael McIntyre. He'll try to backhand that down low. It'll come loose. Ryden Evers. It was a very clean spin move by Rennie. We've seen a couple of those in this game. Bongo no. did some acrobatics over in the other side about three minutes ago. When you can do it without getting your body out of position and stretching yourself too far, you don't, you're not showboating, you're just showing your skill. Yeah. <laughs> not a better way to put it than that. It's not showing off, you can back it up, right? That's right. Good job by Yellow to hold that puck in the zone, but it's finally going to be forced out as we enter the final minute of this opening frame. Ty Brassington into the attacking zone. Brassington trying to get around his man, but he can't get around Braden Willis. Turn back, here comes Yellow. Wagnon into the attacking zone. Tried to cut through, shot stop made. The rebound tried to find its way to the front and then I got knocked down on the way through. Rain Jamison trying to force that puck out. Long stretch pass for Jordan Wales just out of his reach. Not enough for an icing call as Cole Miller's back to play that one. Twenty seconds remaining in the opening frame. Skating that in was Liam Hunks, but he lost the handle on it. Chance for Gray. Thirteen seconds remaining. Pass across got picked off before it had any hope of reaching Magnuson. Here's a chance for Yellow now. The pass. Pass back, and that got picked off at the last second on a great defensive effort by Jordan Wales, and that will do it for the opening frame. Here at the South Surrey Arena, a 2-0 lead for Team Yellow as they've been dominant in the shots department. They've got some pretty good goaltending back there from Jaden Sharma, and they lead this one 2-0 as we head into our little 30-second break. Joey and James with you. We'll have the second period call for you after this. Second period of play, just getting ready to start here. A 2-0 lead for Team Yellow. We do have a goaltending change here. Angelo Zoll now in goal, or pardon me. Can't remember if I saw the goalie change now. Gray's gonna try and break this out of their own zone here. They come with a burst of speed. Jackson Hungle. Hungle lost the handle on that puck. Chance back the other way for Yellow. It's Nash Walters losing the handle on that puck. In the corner controlling is Lucas Robinstein. Turned over. Logan Johnston tried to feed that right in front of the goal. That got picked off last second by Robinstein. Back the other way. Jake Bongo. And that'll get blown dead on an offside. You know, coaches often say the simple play is the smart play. And I'm seeing a lot of excellent passing, some creativity, some great moves from the gray team. But I think playing it simple might be the key to getting some more shots on goal and, you know, maybe solving this yellow team's goaltending. Chance in for Team Gray, Shahi. He's in one on three in the far corner. Clearing attempt, hit Hungel on the pad. Here's a chance back the other way for Team Gray. Bongo drop pass for Hungel. Hungel threw it across for Galata. Galata tried to leave that behind in the corner. Jake Bongo skates onto that one. Back of the line, Robinstein. Robinstein, D to D. Shahi lets that go. Blocker save by Jaden Sharma. Long shot just wide of the goal. The rebound will be 
played away out of harm's way by Jacob Morrison. And Yellow will now force this puck out. Here comes Justin Brar. And he'll just get boxed off of that puck. Taken away there by Robinstein. Leaves behind his own goal. Two and a half gone by here in the second period. He has a chance back the other way. Morrison shoots, and that'll be swallowed up by Garen Wickstrom. See the hair on Jacob Morrison? It's flowing behind him. Hey, whoa, whoa. If anybody's going to be talking about flow in this entire building, it's going to be me. I may have it in a bun right now, but we know. Big flow, big flow. I don't know, Joey. I think Morrison's got you beat. Well, maybe we should get Morrison on our uh, Wigs for Kids page, huh? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> 2-0 lead for Team Yellow as they hold this puck in the attacking zone. Thornley Hall will dump that down low. Pass into the slot, unable to get a stick on that one. Turn back. Here comes Team Gray back the other way. Keegan Dunn lost the handle on that puck. Comes loose. Liam Magnuson. Magnuson. D to D pass for Tate Taylor. Taylor got that puck back. Yellow trying to work a little bit of magic here. Long shot for the point. Tipped wide and the rebound sat loose in the slot. But Evans couldn't get a shot on that one. You know, just a minute ago, the gray team was uh, advancing forward on a bit of a dangerous odd man rush. Number five in yellow, Keegan Hilditch. Here's a chance back the other way. Dig scores! A great finish. A perfect finish there. And Anthony Carone makes it 3-0 for his yellow teammates. And a perfect finish there, beating the goaltender to the blocker side, threw her to the backhand. No mistake made there. A 3-0 lead for Team Yellow. And this one certainly hasn't had that close feel that Green and Blue had earlier. It really doesn't, Joey. It really doesn't. The ice does seem to be tilted one way or another. Now, you don't want to try and uh, give, give Gray an out, but the last team on the ice for a practice before the games began was Team Yellow. There's a long shot in. Stopped and handled by Garen Wickstrom, and he'll cover that puck up. That's certainly a good point, Joey. I do remember as we stepped outside, one of them was having what we called a post pracky Sammy. <laughs> post pracky Sando. We love <laughs> That could have been the key to success. Forced out into the neutral zone. Chance in for Cohen Oatman, but he lost the handle on that puck. That'll get stolen by Rain Jamison. Jamison behind the net, looked to go lacrosse. Couldn't get that puck up on his stick. That'll be stolen away now. Carone sends it behind his own goal. There on the other side is Cohen Oatman, however, to play that one for Gray. Puck comes loose to the line. Shahi trying to shove that one down low, lost the handle on it. Played there by Ole Gabrielson. Ahead for Anthony Carone. Back for Gabrielson. Gabrielson trying to work this puck out of his own zone. Nice head man pass for Logan Johnston. Johnston, drop pass. Trying to get a shot there with Zach Wagnum. Couldn't get it. Here's Wagnum again. Backhand pass in front. Shoots over top of the goal. Gabrielson coming down from the blue line to get that shot off, couldn't finish. Here's another turn and burn shot, stop the rebound. Shot over top of the goal and into the netting, out of play. And a handful of chances there for Yellow to make this thing four nothing, but they just cannot solve the goaltender as Garen Wickstrom came up big and a couple missed chances there as well. It's a frightening rebound from Wickstrom. You can see uh, all daylight and then close it off right away. Nighttime. Mr. Burns with the sunblocker, you know? <laughs> Long shot for the point. Goaltender didn't see that one at all. And it'll get sent back the other way. Gray working it down low. Hungle. Puck down low for Cole Galata. Galata back in for Hungle. Hungle has it bounce off his stick. Stolen away there by Rennie. Sent around to the other side. Noah Walters trying to clear that puck out of the zone. They overskate it. Comes back to a D-man. Playing that puck there is Liam Hunks. Hunks. Threw that puck ahead. Nice pass into the attacking zone. No, 
Walters cuts, shoots over top of the goal, and, and he just missed that one. Wickstrom was down, but he squared himself up nicely. I think he actually could have closed off a lot of that. It was daylight top right, top left, but he was aggressive. I don't know. I, I still think he looked a little bit too deep on that play. Then again, though, he had to respect the opportunity of the man cutting across the goal. There's a point blank chance, and that got blocked at the last second. Cleared out of harm's way. Michael McIntyre sends that around to the other side. But it comes all the way out. Played there by Liam Hunks in his own zone. Hunks, turn that puck over. Back the other way comes Team Gray. Jake Bongo, the pass across. Hongle is shot. Gets deflected off a stick and up and out of play. Great stick by Bongo there. Really just, com like, really just take the momentum the other way on the play. Unfortunately, they couldn't convert, but... You know, that's some life signs there. Well, we're seeing a lot of chemistry here between Hungo, Bongo, and Galata. They've seemed to be skating a lot so far in the early stages of this game. And it's specifically between uh, Hungo and Bongo, as uh, Hungo came over in a trade from the uh, Carlton Place Canadians of the CCHL earlier this month. Galata's look pretty good on that line with them as well. Behind the net, it's Justin Brar. Chance for yellow. Turn and burn shot taken there by Ryden Evers, and that'll be swallowed up by Garen Wickstrom, and he'll take that cover. Still a 3 0 lead, 16 minutes remaining. Long shot for the point. That'll be blocked on the way through. The rebound comes to Justin Brar in the slot, but he had his stick lifted last second on a great defensive effort by Aiden Samuels. Chance back the other way. Samuels is in there, and he got tied up with the last second there. Jack Baker was coming in there as well. Here's Brar trying to work this puck out here for Team Yellow. They're up 3-0 here. Evers in for Brar. Brar couldn't take that puck cleanly. Looked to be favoring his groin a little bit as he extended the left leg to try and stop that pass. Seems to be okay, skating okay now, but he'll make his way back to the bench. About two and a half minutes away from our ice clean here. Breaking into the attacking zone, Zwamslik scores! What a shot, an absolute bullet. Right where the crossbar meets the post over top of the glove and another fantastic shot. That'll be his second of the game for Auntie Slomslick. Wickstrom saw it coming, he squared up to it, but it was just a small hole. Nothing he could really do there. A perfect shot's a perfect shot. Doesn't matter if it's Garen Wickstrom or Dominic Hossick. Yeah, that's right. Yellow team's really been exercising a theory where you make the goalie make a save. Just shoot every chance you get. There's another keys, uh, case of that right there. A long point shot there from Landon Hildich. Got a stick on it on the way through. Garen Wickstrom had to make another save on that one, though. The more stops a goaltender makes, sure, you may be getting him into that zone. However, at the same time, the more saves a goaltender has to make, the more energy he is excruding, even if it is something as simple as lifting up his glove. That's right, Joey. You could tire a goalie out. Keep in mind, though, we've been having a lot of goaltender changes. That's true. Gray looked to break that puck into the zone, but they were turned back almost immediately at the top of the faceoff circles. They'll try it one more time. Into the attacking zone. Here comes Jordan Wales. Lost the handle on that one. It'll come loose into the corner for Ole Gabrielson. Gabrielson. Nice stretch pass ahead just out of the reach of Auntie Slomslick, who was looking for number three on the afternoon as Auntie has been fantastic in this game. Lights no doubt he has. You know, uh, last game between the blue and green teams, we saw a major momentum shift, and we saw the ice really open up after the ice cleaning. Watch for that to potentially happen here again in just a minute or so. Loose puck behind the net. It's played by Lucas Robinstein. In front shot, a great toe save made 
by Wickstrom. Great job to get the right foot down, make that stop. Chance in again for Carone, but he lost the handle on it. Wagnon, he lost that one as well. He's a chance for Cohen Oatman to slow things down for Team Gray as they look to answer back before the ice clean. They only have a couple seconds to do it here. The final seconds will tick off here. And that will do it for the first half here at the South Surrey Arena. A 4-0 lead for Team Yellow over Team Gray as they're running away with this one. Not as close as we were between blue and green. We've got a pair of goals there from Antti Slomslik. And that takes us where we sit right now. A 4-0 lead for Team Yellow as we step aside at the South Surrey Arena. We'll be back after the Zamboni does its business. We'll talk soon.
game two of the 2022 Elite ID Camp here at the South Surrey Arena. James Piercy alongside your boy Joey Pitt coming to you live from the Eagles perch. A 4-0 lead for Team Yellow. They have been very good in this game, led by two goals from number 13, Auntie Zlomslik. You know, things may begin to change here. We saw an excellent performance from Jaden Sharma, but we're getting Angelo Zoll in for the yellow team starting next. Angelo Zoll and Braden Burroughs getting expected to get the calls for their respective teams. Uh, Zoll getting the call for yellow, Burroughs getting the call for gray. Officials are just wetting the ice harden a little bit. We were talking about the summer conditions outside here at the South Surrey Arena earlier on. In the uh, green versus blue game we had earlier, the ice cleaning had quite the effect on the game. Opened right up, goals galore after. Goals galore, I like that one. Goals galore, a little alliteration. Yeah, yeah. 22 degrees outside the South Surrey Arena. Inside, we're sitting, I don't know, what would you say, about seven, eight, seven, six degrees inside. It's cool enough that Josh is wearing a blanket, but it's warm enough that I have my sleeves rolled up on my dress shirt. So, you know, like, it's kind of middle ground here. However, like we said earlier, if you're looking for a, something special to do, a way to cool down on this Canada Day long weekend, swing by the South Surrey Arena and take in this awesome ID camp. Lots of great Junior A hockey action all throughout the weekend as we have four teams worth of players looking to crack this roster for September. You know, we've seen quite a few great performances so far. In, uh, in our blue versus green game, we saw a couple of number 13 steal the show a little bit talent-wise. Yeah, this a couple game of so former far, Thunderbirds, yeah. yeah. My old boys, uh, Mateo Speranza and Antonio Bevacqua, both having great games there for their respective squads. 13 for green and blue, respectively, Speranza and Bevacqua. Do we have any former Thunderbirds in this matchup? Well, we got Justin Brar in there, who is from the U17 squad, as well as Cole Miller who is a defenseman on the U-17 squad. Both of them are playing for Team Yellow in this matchup. I'd like to highlight one player whose uh, performance didn't really show up on the score sheet too much, but he started and stopped a couple pretty nice plays. That would be Landon Hilditch on the blue line for Yellow, the number five. He uh, had a bit of a, he shut down the opposition going backward on an odd man rush and it resulted in a goal for his team, so. You know, keep an eye out for guys like that who fly under the radar. They do the little things, things that coaches love. Makes an impression. Landon Hillich, the former member of the U18 Valley West Giants, uh, played most of their whole games down the road and a bit here at uh, Langley Event Center. <laughs> so a very good player uh, from the area. So uh, definitely knows what kind of weather we're getting outside right now. Knows the inside of this rink pretty well. Coming here public skating with the folks back when he was a kid so obviously an ideal spot for him to be he like you've talked to players who grow up around here they want to play here playing for the hometown team always means something you know I could really really echo that sentiment I, I grew up uh, in Port Alberni BC where we, have, where we have the BCHL's Port Alberni Bulldogs we idolized those players growing up I could probably still remember a lot of key players from my childhood uh, when Harry Zolnerchuk actually played for them back in the day. Well, I mean, uh, me being a Penticton boy myself, uh, spent a lot of time back at the uh, South Okanagan Events Center over the years. Uh, memories of guys like Troy Stetcher, Dante Fabro, Ryan Johansson. Lots of great players came through that Fred Harbinson run V's organization. Not to mention the old guys back in the day as well. Obviously, Brett Hall, Ray Ferraro, Duncan Keith. Uh, Paul Correa all did time with the Penticton V's or Knights or Broncos, whatever iteration of the team was playing at Memorial back in the days. So obviously the BCHL means a lot to communities around this province. Well, and obviously we remember the, and uh, I mean, we don't remember it because we were born the year that it happened, but we know how the city can come around this Eagles squad. Uh, 1997 and 1998, the Eagles were the best they've ever been. And this place was bumping every single night. So we know the impact that the BCHL can have on a small community in this province. Obviously, Surrey's not a small community unless we were the <laughs> South Surrey Eagles like we used to be. 
We get ready for the second period puck or drop here. It's won by Gray as they've got a pretty insurmountable hill to climb up. But they've got about 60 minutes to work with here. Two stop 25s and a three on three 10 to work with as they try to claw their way back into this one. That'll find its way back to the point. Long shot in, blocker save made there by, by Angelo Zoll. He gets his first touch on that puck. Trying to play that one ahead was Tate Taylor. Had the puck knocked off his stick. Taylor get that back in his own zone. Logan Johnston in on the four check for Team Yellow. Johnston will steal that puck. Johnston tried to throw that along the blue line. It'll get picked off on the way through. Turn back over. Johnston, he's got Brar with him. Johnston will get poke checked. Justin Brar picks up that loose puck. Here's Justin Brar. Lost the handle on it. Back the other way comes the big line for Team Gray. Hungle, Bongo, and Galata. Into the attacking zone for Team Gray. Hungle for Bongo. Galata's in front of the goal. Shot just wide of the goal for Galata. And the rebound is sprawled on top of by Angelo Zoll on a great effort. My eyes betrayed me on that one. I thought that one was going in. Just missed, uh, tickling the twine on the blocker side there. Just missed the outside of the post. Tickling the twine? What's with us in alliteration this go around? We're trying our best up here, you know? <laughs> our technical producer's shaking their head at us, so I don't really, <laughs> I don't think they like it. Here's a chance, shot, pad save made. The rebound is cleared out of harm's way as Zola got his pad down on that one. Right pad save made. Yellow will try to break this puck out. Gray has had a much better start to this period. No results for it so far. Into the attacking zone, Samuels. Lost the handle on that one, it's loose in the slot. Held in at the line, Magnuson. Magnuson will lose that one. Fired back down low by Keegan Dunn. Dunn will get stood up there by Landon Hilditch, but it looks like he's gonna take a penalty for that one in an interference call coming up against Landon Hilditch. First power play opportunity coming up for Gray. You know, in old time hockey, that kind of play is encouraged. Get your man out of the way. But nowadays, that is a little bit more of an interference call. You know, we can always talk about how much we miss the old times that we remember that all the great guys like Eric Lindros who had shortened careers. And it's like, you know, maybe it's okay we have these yeah. rules. Yeah, I, I, I'm I, with you there, Joey. I'm with you there. You know, sure, I miss watching guys get chopped down at the knee, but Pavel Burry only played 400 career games, and it's a travesty. So, you know, it's good to have rules. Paul Correa cut short, too. Oh, it's another, another one. Another one. Here comes Team Gray into the attacking zone. It's Rain Jamison. Jamison in the near side corner. He'll spin off a check. He's got a man on him there. It's Ben Thornley Hall. Finally squirts loose. Back of the line, Liam Magnuson. Magnuson in the near side point. Back down low, Oatman. Oatman, he'll wrestle for that loose puck. They'll try to clear out. Held in by Magnuson. Magnuson, near point. Long pass across, got picked off on the way through. But great, nice move there. Jordan Wales with a nice toe drag, getting around his man, holds onto that puck, two minutes left in the power play. Backhand chance, that got blocked. Jordan Wales. Wales leaves that puck behind, finds his way up to the point. Robin Stein. Nice pass in front, that'll get picked off on the way through on a great defensive effort by Ben Thornley Hall. Skating onto that puck is Jordan Wales. Wales almost lost the handle on that one at the blue line. Good job to stay on side. Wales in front and fanning on that shot was Markell. Trying to get Team Gray on the board for the first time in this game. Puck forced down into neutral territory. Minute 15 remaining in this power play. Drop pass. Here's Evan Markell. On the other side, Jackson Hungle trying to send that one down low. Hungle still has it. Hungle up top, Taylor down low for Hungle. Hungle leaves behind for Tate Taylor. Taylor walks the line, feeds it across. Nice hard pass across for Cole Galata. Galata back up for Taylor. One-timer chance shot just wide by Jake Bongo, and that'll go all the way back down. 
killing off a little bit of time and giving the yellow penalty killers a chance to get some fresh legs out there. 37 seconds remaining in the minor penalty. Jake Bongo. Bongo for a skate. He'll cut into the middle. Shot. Pad saves Zoll. Galata can't get anything going there. Galata shoves down low for Hungle. That'll get sent around to the other side by Zach Wagnon. Sent into the corner. And that'll do it for the penalty as Landon Hilditch steps back onto the ice and he's got a chance for a partial break here. He's got Justin Brar with him. Passed into the slot, nobody home. Skating onto that one is Wagnon. Shot scores! What a rocket! High to the blocker side from the Rockstar zone. Short side from below the faceoff circle. An absolute bullet. Makes it 5-0 yellow. What a, what a shot. That was beautiful. Nobody home. Skating onto that one is Wagnon. Shot scores! What a rocket! High to the blocker side from the... Oh, it's a shout out to uh, not Danny Heatley for yeah. that one. Well, 15.07 action. Yeah. Woo. Line's been good job to duck and get out of the way of that puck that was going ear level to him. Yellow back into the attacking zone. <clears throat> That'll be skated on to by Lucas Robinstein. He'll try to slow things down here. Robinstein, he'll chip that one forward for Kabir Shahi. Breaking into the zone, there's a nice poke check at the blue line there as Yellow's doing a great job of holding the line and a great stand-up check there from Ole Gabrielson. Oh! <laughs> and Braden Willis just hit the side of his own net with a pass attempt. You don't want that to be the one that gets the momentum going the other way. Mm -hmm. Especially with the way that the Yellow goaltenders have played so far. Here comes Team Yellow one more time. It's Logan Johnston. Johnston tried to force that to the front of the net. Stopped by the goaltender. The rebound is covered up. 4.51 remaining in this second period of play. Angelo Zoll and Braden Burrows in goal for their respective teams. There's Burrows. Got a couple touches on the puck there. It's good to get that early. We talked before about the goalie switch ups and how hard they can be. Get yourself right into the game when the game's already been going for a while. Chance for Gray to break this puck out. Liam Magnuson goes D to D with Evan Markell. Markell lost the handle on it, got it back. Nice pass across. Here's Cohen Oatman. A long stretch and that'll get tipped out of harm's way off the stick of Ben Thornley Hall. Thornley Hall, who's been quiet offensively, has been very sound defensively so far. Shut down quite a few great chances that Gray has attempted to get going here. That's right, Joey. You've really noticed him doing the little things the coaches love. Making an impression. 3.52 remaining in the second period of play. All yellow thus far. Unforced error, nice turnover. Back the other way comes Gray, but Liam Magnuson can't get a shot off, and he went uh, tea kettle first in behind the goaltender. Tea kettle first, I like that one. Well, we know what I was trying to say. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> uh. Back into the gray zone, it'll be handled there by Evan Markell. Magnuson, long stretch pass ahead, onto the tape of Oatman, and it's gonna be blown late as the referee is now just noticing that the net is off its moorings behind goaltender Angelo Zoll. Was that one offside as well? I believe they came in onside. Really? It was a close play. Very close. No video review here, so. Important to make that decision nice and early. Forced out the second time around there. Great stick from Anthony Car Carone. In comes Gray into the attacking zone. It's Cole Galata. Lost the handle on it. At the line, long shot in from the point. And the shot from Tate Taylor, easily handled. Fifty-eight 
Face-off win for Gray. Can't hold the line, however. It'll be forced out. Gray will regroup in their own zone. Well, tire blown there. That, that was almost problematic, but he was able to get it up to his, up to his offensive player. There's a chance for a turnover. It's Hungle trying to cause some problems in on the four check. Good job by Yellow to corral that puck and fire it out of harm's way into the corner. Hungle again causing some issues. Nice pass over. Taylor, shot, stop the rebound, a shot just wide. And a great chance. There's another chance tipped on the way through by Hungle and stopped. Pucks Angelo's on net, old. man. That's exactly what they want. Throw pucks on net, good things happen. Angelo Zoll standing tall so far for Team Yellow coming in for the second period after Jaden Schwarma was very good in period number one. Worth noting that uh, since the ice clean shots are five to three for Gray. Well, it hasn't happened, it hasn't correlated into the scoreboard yet, but at that, that real turn at the ice clean that you were talking about has taken effect here in this game. It's all about maintaining that pressure, though. If you can't maintain it, well, they're going to make it. They're going to take advantage of opportunities going the other way. Speaking of opportunities, the other way back, the other way comes Gray. It's Aiden Samuels. Samuels, nice toe drag, backhander in the slot. He just missed with the blocker side. Back of the line, Shahi. His shot goes well wide. Trying to force that down low is Gabrielson. That'll be forced out now. Gabrielson takes it for a skate. Tries to cut into the middle. Can't get a shot off. A great individual effort. Goes from his own end to the other. Just couldn't get a clean shot on goal. 22 seconds remaining in the middle frame. Chance for one more rush for Yellow. That'll get turned back. Maybe one more for Gray. Into the attacking zone at Samuels. Samuels. Pass across. and That'll go off the stick of Michael McIntyre, who was sprawling down low to block that pass on the two-on-one on a great defensive effort. Chance for one more shot here, and that'll get deflected up into the netting and out of play, and that will do it for period number two here at the South Surrey Arena. A commanding 5-0 lead for Team Yellow. And we will step aside for a break. When we come back, we'll have the third period of play and 10 minutes of three on three to follow. Joey and James live from the perch at the South Surrey Arena. A 5-0 lead for Team Yellow over Team Gray. Third period puck drop, controlled by Team Gray. Gray's gonna have to get a good start here in this third period if they want any chance of bouncing back in this one. Finds his way in front of the Gray bench. They'll carry it into the attacking zone. It's Wales, but he'll come in offside and we'll get a whistle 30 seconds in. It was another close one. Officials made the right call though. Yellow controls off that draw. Working that puck down low with Landon Hildich. Chance in front of the goal, finds his way into the near side corner. Hilditch is battling with his man. It's a battle between fives with Markel and Hilditch. Hilditch still putting in the work down low. It's finally a man for Gray who'll come in and steal that loose puck and here's a chance for a partial break. It's a three on two. Into the attacking zone, Wales, loose in front of the net, fight and it just trickles wide. A great chance there, but Angelo Zoll came across another chance, they score on the wraparound. Chance after chance after chance. Angelo Zoll kept coming up bigger and bigger, but eventually they find the hole. And it's going to be Liam Magnuson getting credited with that goal. You know, they finally, finally got one in. Both goalies for yellow were playing incredible, whether it be Zoll or Sharma. But 
Finally, they solved him. Zol was spread eagle down on the ground there, and I thought he had it shut down. I thought he had it covered, but away she goes. Never one you want to see go by as a goaltender, especially when you're down in a position where you've already made a couple big saves. You never want to see that rebound go through. But it looks like uh, Gray has found a, some legs underneath him as Cole Galata's putting some guys into the spin cycle. Down low for Jake Bongo. Bongo tried to work that to the front of that. A shot was taken, and I think that went off the blocker of Zoll. Puck finds his way back into neutral territory. Two and a half gone by here in the third. 5-1 is the score. Bongo, he'll wrestle for that loose puck behind the net with Hunks. Hungle lost the handle on that one. Pinned up along the near side boards. Yellow comes out with that puck. Wagner in the corner. Pinned up along the far side now. Chance for Gray to break it out. Jackson Hungle will skate onto that puck. Nice backhand pass ahead. Here's Cole Galata. Galata leaves that puck behind for Taylor. Back for Bongo. Bongo wrestling down low for that loose puck. Evers is going to steal it, but he can't clear the zone. Galata, cross for Taylor. Tate Taylor, try to drop pass back. Turned it over. Back the other way comes Yellow. Carone into the middle. Back for Carone. He can't get a shot on goal. Great chance for Carone. He's in there with Rennie. Carone into the middle for Rennie. Down low, he's looking for it. He got it on the stick and he just couldn't beat the goaltender. Almost a successful Michigan here on day one of the ID camps. The shot wide, the rebound is loose. Rennie looked for a wraparound, thought better of it. Rennie, he'll try to dance his way into the slot. Rennie lost the handle on it, chance for a rebound and unable to get a shot on goal there was Lomslick who was looking for goal number three on the afternoon. Puck finds his way into the neutral zone. Four and a half gone by in the third. Back the other way comes Yellow. Rennie. Rennie trying to cut to the slot. Lost the handle on it. Carone picks it up. Carone behind the net. Rennie lost the handle on it. Got it back. Rennie. Ewan Rennie. Threw it down low for Zlomslik. Zlomslik fell. Chance back the other way for Gray. It's Baker. Baker into the attacking zone. Shoots. Tried to go up high. Hit the shaft of Zoll's stick and stays out of the net. Another chance there that'll get blocked on the way through by a sprawling defender. There was Michael McIntyre getting the body down in the lane. Anthony Corona will slow things down in his own zone, leaves that puck behind for Ole Gabrielson. Gray into the attacking zone, lost the handle on it. Back the other way comes Justin Brar. They're in three on two. Brar into the attacking zone. The trailer joins Brar. A backhand chance. That'll be stopped by the goaltender Burrows, and the rebound is covered up as well. Now, Joey, we've seen a couple Michigan attempts now. I love it. I think it's great for the game. I think I preach creativity. Where do you stand on it? I mean, I'm always, uh, the more people master that, the more we're going to see the, uh, what I like to call the NHL 06 goal where you flip it up from behind the net, Michigan style, over top, and the other guy bats it in. We saw Anaheim pull that one off. Yeah. The, the magician, Trevor Zegers. To Sonny Milano. Sonny Milano. <laughs> Man, you want to talk about a scary team moving forward. If Anaheim, uh, if they can hold on to John Gibson, that'll be a scary team once those guys start to mature. Mason McTavish is my rookie of the year pick. I mean, I'm going to say Kuzmenko, but you could probably call that bias. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we are in the greater Vancouver area. I'll give you that one. 6.30 gone by here in the third. Still a 5-1 lead. However, Gray has finally found a chink in the armor and, and solved the goaltender. There's a turnover in the attacking zone. Yellow's looking to capitalize there. Stuff play attempt, and that'll be stopped by Burroughs. 
really sold the pass there. Burroughs had to stay strong on his post and just commit to it. You can't wishy-washy go one way or the other. You have to really commit. Gray will control off this draw. Hungel, nice back pass. Finds his way to the point. It's Thornley Hall. Looking for a tip there was Bongo, but he couldn't find it. Another chance here for Yellow to work this puck out a second time around. Into the attacking zone. Takes a strange bounce off the boards there. It's a chance for Gray to answer back. Flipped out of harm's way by Ty Brassington. That'll be fired down the length of the ice. It will be enough for an icing call as we will get the whistle. Face off coming up to the left of Angelo Zoll. Jake Bongo, nice move. There's a nice check thrown there in the defensive zone by Keegan Dunn, and Yellow will force that puck out. There's another hard check thrown in the neutral territory as well. That was Cole Golotta catching his man with his head down. And we've certainly gotten into the rough stuff here as that puck will go up and out of play. Golotta's quite the multifunctional player, I can see. Well, he seems to like to do the offensive game alongside... Uh, Bongo and Hungle, but Galata as well likes to throw the body, seems to be willing to go into those corners. Not that Bongo and Hungle don't want to, but if they were to stay together, you can tell that he would be the one to want to do that. Hey, not everybody could be a five-tool athlete. You ought to have uh, different assets on your lines. Chance back the other way for Gray as they look to break out, but Dunn couldn't do anything with it. It's turned over. Chance there for Cole Miller. Couldn't get a shot on goal. Pass across. Look, shoots. Great glove save made. As it goes off the glove of Burroughs into the netting and out of play. Keeping an eye on the shots again. Uh, we're now 12-5 to five in favor of Gray since the ice clean. It's, uh, that margin just keeps on growing. It was 18 to eight for yellow before the ice clan. Here's a chance for yellow. Pass across, they score. A fantastic pass from Zach Wagner through it right across for Ryden Evers who made no mistake on that two on, that partial two on one right in front of the net. And you know, I keep pumping the tires of the gray team for their uh, shot output right now, but you know, Making making the most of opportunities can be more worth it. There's teams that will pepper other teams on and on and on, but your shot selection is key. It's now a 6-1 lead. The five-goal lead or reinstated rather for Team Yellow as they continue to run away with this thing. Pass across. Shot. What a save by Burroughs. The rebound is stopped by Burroughs. Pass into the slot, and that'll be stick checked last second there. Incredible cross crease save. What a stop made by Burroughs. There's another chance at it in the second time around. The pass will be blocked on the way through by Magnuson. Forced out into neutral territory. Skating onto that one is Anthony Carone. Carone leaves that puck behind. Dangerous pass there. It's turned over. Here's a chance for Gray to do something with this puck. However, Rain Jamison's gonna get wrestled to the ice. He's a chance back the other way, shoots, he scores! A partial break for Ryden Evers, makes no mistake. Low to the blocker side. You gotta feel for Burroughs after fighting that hard on those saves. That was probably the save of the game he made. And then save, right, right there, ugh. Save of the afternoon, for sure. Not one, but two saves on that cross crease two on O down low, only to have him come back and get beat on a partial breakaway. It Gotta give Ryden Evers credit on that one though. Took full advantage of his opportunity. A perfectly placed shot, just mm -hmm. low, far side. 
above the pad, below the glove, a picture perfect shot. We haven't really pointed it out yet. Uh, Braden Burrows, he catches right. Oh man, he's a hiller. We made, uh, we made quite the show of, of all the right-handed goalies, right-hand catching goalies we could name earlier. Haven't even noticed it. That'll get thrown down low. Pass in front, shot stopped, the rebound. Another great save by Braden Burrows. As he got the left foot up to make that unbelievable save there and keep this a six goal game. You gotta hope for him that Gray can get a little bit of offense going off of that momentum. Bongo tried to throw that to the front of the net, got picked off on the way through. Bongo makes his way up to the top of the circle, lost the handle on that puck, gets it back. Into the corner for Jackson Hungle. Hungle, he'll walk up to the blue line. Threw that puck down low. Kabir Shahi. He'll give that puck away. Turn back the other way. Here comes yellow. It's Logan Johnston. Johnston threw that puck back. Rennie shoots. Stop made by Burroughs, and he'll snag the rebound as well. You really got to give Burroughs props here. A lot of goalies would just have the heart taken right out of them after letting in all those goals. He has not stopped fighting whatsoever. The battle is within, and he is definitely keeping that thing going. Got to imagine he's impressing coaches' management with that performance. Mm -hmm. Working that puck down low. It's Jacob Morrison. That'll get feathered down low for Justin Brar. Brar in the near side corner. Threw that in. Morrison couldn't do anything with that puck and nearly held into the line by Hildich, but it's forced out the second time around. Skated onto by Samuels. Samuels back in his own zone. Stretch pass will get picked off by Hildich. Here comes Hildich into the attacking zone for Yellow. Hildich back, shot scores! Jacob Morrison, a great shot there and number 17 for Yellow gets one and it's 8-1 now. The ice sure is tilted down towards the gray end. The last six shots on goal, all coming from the yellow team. What is that, two goals on that? Yeah. Angelo Zoll has not been busy. However, this does raise a great opportunity for Gray. If you can get a quick rush down and get a couple shots on Zoll, he, a bit of coldness may have fallen onto the goaltender. And there's a delayed penalty coming up. Gray's gonna be going to the power play here, so they'll have an extra man to work with for three minutes. And the puck will get cleared out. We will get the gate here. We'll get the call here. It's gonna be a tripping penalty coming up against Landon Hilditch. It's a second penalty so far for Hilditch. I'll watch very, him coming out of the box this time. A very quiet uh, in terms of penalties compared to the game between green and blue. That puck will get cleared off the hop. In on to Burroughs. Burroughs will play that one aside, skate it on to. And out by Liam Magnuson. Magnuson feathers that one across. They'll be on side. Back up top, Magnuson. D to D. Markel threw that puck down low. And trying to throw that puck down low again was Jordan Wales, but he lost the handle on it. That'll find its way all the way down to Burroughs, who leaves that one behind. Liam Magnuson will pick it up. Magnuson's pass a little bit out of the reach of his intended target, Markel. And that'll take a Bieksa bounce off the stanch and come out into neutral territory. Burroughs back out of his goal to stop that one. Scoring, skating onto it is Jordan Wales. 8.50 remaining in the third. Wales into the attacking zone. He'll get squeezed off that puck by Liam Hunks, and that'll be fired down the length of the ice one more time. Great penalty killing effort by Team Yellow. Man, uh, James, you were saying in the first game, it's a little bit easier to, when you're getting to know teammates, it's easier to work a PK than a power play. It seems to be case in point right here as Gray has not been able to get anything going, and Yellow's been looking dominant with the PK. Well, it really is. Uh, when you're working the power play, you need to work a lot of chemistry and, and uh, let those offensive instincts really flow in between each other. But when you're killing a penalty, it's just X's and O's. 
You're getting to the right spot. You're playing hard and you're trying to win puck battles. Brassington throws down low for Jackson Hungle. Hungle lost the handle on it, skated on to by Galata. Cole Galata, Hungle's in there to give him a hand as well. They're battling with Liam Hunks behind the goal. That'll get pulled loose. Jake Bongo, Bongo back of the line. D to D pass. Brassington shoots, stick saves Zoll, and he'll deflect that up and out of play with a great paddle stop. 7.40 remaining in this third period of play, an 8-1 lead for Team Yellow, who've had the lion's share of the offense. 30 to 21 are the shots. Yeah, there was, uh, there was a chunk there where the gray team had quite a shot advantage and they were getting the momentum swing, but sure has shifted back the other way. Chance to break out of the zone here for Zach Wagnon. Pass ahead just out of the reach. Not enough for an icing, however, as Burroughs is out of his goal to stop that one. Karoma's in there on the four check. He's in one on three. He still nearly stole that puck. Coming out of the zone, it's a drop pass from Tate Taylor. Skating onto that one. There's a chance right in front, and trying to throw that to the front of the goal there was Jake Bongo. That'll go off the stick of Zoll, and he'll cover that one up himself. You know, earlier, Joey, I made a point of look at all this amazing pressure that the gray team's having. And, uh, but there's one big part of it. You have to maintain that pressure. Well, you're talking about the pressure that Gray has on. It looks like the pressure's starting to set in on number 12, Jake Bongo, a little bit there. Some frustration after not being able to get that chance to go. It's a decent chance trying to deflect it off of all the, all the mishmash of everything in front of the net, but to no avail. Chance back in again. Carone, shot wide. Held in at the blue line. McIntyre, down low. And that'll get deflected up and out of play. Face off coming up to the left of Burroughs. Face off one, a little bit too well, came right back to Burroughs. He'll grab another cover on that one. Yellow controls off that draw. What a tip. Tipped on the way through, stolen away by Yellow. Here's a chance, Evers. Back of the line, McIntyre. He'll backhand that one down low. Tried to throw that one towards the net. Did Wagnon, not enough on it, got blocked on the way through. Ryden Evers. Leaves behind for Wagnon. Carone shot over top of the goal. 5-0-1 remaining in the third. Loose puck in front of the goal. Here's a chance. Poke checked. Great play by Burroughs. I just love the fight in this guy. A lot of great fight out of goaltender Braden Burroughs, number 31 on Gray. Here's a chance back the other way for Gray, but they'll get their pocket picked. Here comes Yellow for another rush. Logan Johnston. He shoots, and it's gloved down by Burroughs, and he'll get a cover. Yeah, frustration mounting on the gray side. You're right. You pointed out uh, Jake Bongo's frustration. I think that uh, I think that this team should be inspired by how much their goalie keeps fighting on. Well, the boys are, or the goaltender is doing everything that he can to try and spark this momentum. There's another chance in front and another stop by Burroughs as whacking alone in front of the net was Logan Johnston. But one more time, Burroughs will get that job done. Close the door. Now, earlier I was saying green team's Michael Canduso was the goalie of the day. I, I'm going Braden Burroughs. And usually you don't say that about a goalie who's on a team losing 8-1, to one, but mm -hmm. what else can you say? That said, though, I will. I do want to give props over to uh, Zol and Sharma, who are both fantastic in this game. Agreed. We'll probably get another look at Sharma in the three-on-three -three portion. Yellow has that puck in front of their own net. And Willis got chopped down, undetected by the official. Here's a chance for Gray. Weak pass in front, that'll get picked off on the way through, back the other way. It's Johnston. 
Logan Johnston in for yellow. Into the middle. Johnston will get that back. Backhand chance missed on the blocker side. Nice backhand opportunity. That'll be worked out. Oatman just poked it forward. Gets it as far as the yellow blue. Rennie circled it behind the net. Tried to backhand her into the front. Got picked off to no avail. Wales, his shot got blocked. There's another blocked shot there. Two in a row there for Logan Johnston. 2.30 remaining in the third. Nice burst of speed there from Liam Hunks. Nice burst of speed for Gray as they look to break into the attacking zone. It's Cole Galata. Galata, he'll get pinned up in the corner. Puck comes loose. Hungo's going to the front of that. Bongo with the pass. Got picked off of the way through. Hungo wrestled to the ice. He's back up. Down low, Galata. Galata in front, shot just wide of the goal as Bongo had a decent look. Hangel down low for Galata. Galata will race to that puck. He'll get bumped off of it by Thornley Hall. Thornley Hall. Clear that up into neutral territory. Under 100 seconds remain in the third period. Pass in for Jackson Hungle. Hungle skates back into the neutral zone. Leaves behind. Long stretch pass ahead for Hungle. He's got Galata with him. Bongo's at the near side point. Bongo accepts that pass. He's in one on two and he'll lose the handle on that one. Taken away by Liam Hunks. Hunks ahead for Justin Sumners. Sumners, he'll flip that across the ice to the other side. Morrison. Morrison, he'll just bounce that off the boards down low as he goes for a line change. 58 seconds remaining in the third. Into the attacking zone is Jack Baker. The pass in front. And that'll go off a stick, off a face mask, and into the corner. As I believe that caught Cole Miller up top. <laughs> Wagnon threw it behind his own goal. Chance now for a breakout. It's Landon Hilditch. Hilditch, despite his couple appearances in the penalty box, has looked very good in this game. Fanning on a shot there was Nash Walters. Here's a chance for Gray back the other way. 17 seconds remaining in the third period, an 8-1 lead. Pass ahead, Wagnon into the attacking zone. That'll get knocked away before he can get a shot off. Chance for one more play in front. Walters behind the goal. Walters looks for a pass in front, and that'll just get away from the stick of Michael McIntyre, and that will do it. You know, Joey, as we head into the extra frame here and do some three-on-three, -three, I think that this was a really good opportunity for Eagles coaching and management to be able to see how some of their players are going to handle adversity, how you could still have that fight in you and still have passion, and how you'll respond to losing by, like, this much of a score. We saw frustration, but, you know, frustration means passion. It means you're committed. It's like the old Shorzy line. You don't want the boys to love to win. You want them to hate to lose. <laughs> Couldn't Jake agree with Bongo that line more. <laughs> uses that to a T. So, you see the frustration boiling over after he tried to cut to the front of the net and it was poke checked last second by Angelo Zoll on a great defensive effort there. Yeah, I wouldn't say it was a, a bad chance or a bad attempt. It was just a, a better response. And Angelo Zoll will be staying in goal here for Team Yellow. Braden Burrow still in goal for Team Gray. I like the way they're doing this. Keep the guys fresh. Into the attacking zone. Nice pass across. And unable to get a good stick on that one was Ryden Evers. Finds his way back to the point. Michael McIntyre, he'll walk the line. Down low for Evers. Low up, leaves it behind. Carone, Carone into the middle. Almost had a lane, good job with the stick there to tie him up. 
as Aiden Samuels got a stick in on him. Samuels gets wrestled to the ice, loose Carone, backhand chance, blockered away. The rebound sits loose, Carone. Carone sends it back, McIntyre. McIntyre will go D to D. Trying to work some magic, Ryden right Evers. Evers shoots, stop made. The rebound is cleared away. Gray still has that puck in their own zone and Yellow's gonna go for a line change here. Minute five gone by here in the extra frame. It's one of the more physical frames of three on three I've seen so far. Magnuson lost the handle on that one as he was carrying out, it's a turnover. Here's Ewan Rennie, Rennie, nice pass across, shot over top of the goal as Logan Johnston had a great chance for his first of the game. Gabrielson will fall down behind the net, Magnuson and Gabrielson will battle for that puck. In the near side corner, Magnuson will come out with it, but Gabrielson is really giving him the business there. Johnson will come in to try and corral that loose puck, but it'll be stolen away. Chance in front of the goal, and Gabrielson couldn't get a stick on that one. I think Burroughs may have got a poke check in there to seal that puck away. That'll go back in for Liam Magnuson in his own zone as Logan Johnston comes in on the four check. Magnuson in front of his own goaltender. Just flips that one ahead for Jordan Wales. Here's Wales in his own zone, through neutral territory and across the blue. He'll circle down below the goal line, sends it back on the other side. It'll be picked up by Ty Brassington. Brassington, he'll walk the line. Brassington, in, Deeks trying to shove her five holes, Zoll closes it. There's a loose puck, that'll be stolen away by Johnston. But Johnston loses the handle on that one. Behind the goal here, it's Ewan Rennie. Back of the line. Shot in from Hunks, and that'll get deflected up and out of play. I'm really liking the play of Jordan Wales. Seems like he's got a lot of speed. Great acceleration, that's the thing. He can blow by guys when he gets that extra step. Well, that's the thing. You, what you're looking for is a player who can pick that puck up at King George and just bolt all the way to New West and like that, you know? Hop on the trolley tracks and go. Exactly. You don't want him to get, uh, get tired of Gateway. Yeah. <laughs> Track problems at Surrey Central, you know? <laughs> Here's a chance for Gray to break this puck out of their own zone. Galata, he'll circle back over to Bongo. They're out there with Tate Taylor as well. Bongo trying to cut to the middle, shoots! Stopped by Zoll. Bongo. Bongo through the legs, nice move. Threw it across, Tate Taylor for Cole Galata, back for Taylor. Tate Taylor, along the near side boards, he'll just let that one go down low for Cole Galata. Galata trying to get away from his man. Couple nice spins down below the goal line. Galata, back up for Bongo. Bongo, in for Taylor. Taylor shoots, missed on the blocker side. Another chance for Gray to break into the attacking zone here. Galata. Threw it up for Tate Taylor. Taylor at the near side boards. Into the middle for Bongo, who had his stick tied up in a great defensive effort by Zlomslik. Bongo again. He'll let that one go. Bongo, fanned on his pass. He's a chance for Yellow to break that puck out. Falling down to the line, however, unable to break it out. Galata leaves for Taylor. Taylor trying to get around a man. Tate Taylor in the near side corner. Trying to get away from a check there. Pass across, and Hungle was right there ready. But it was deflected away last second on a great defensive effort there. That puck comes all the way down onto Burroughs. Halfway through the extra frame here. No goals in three on three so far. Taken away by Justin Sumners. Here's Sumners, he'll spin off a check. Sumners lost the handle on it. Here comes Hungle. Jackson Hungle in. Tried a nice drag move, couldn't get around the defender. Justin Brar behind his own goal. Brar turns on the brakes, walks to the crease. Justin Brar gains the blue line. He'll put it through the defender's legs, but it trickles its way into the goaltender who grabs a cover on that one. And Burroughs will hold on with 4.25 remaining. 
been quite an eventful first day here for our ID camp here at the South Surrey Arena. You know, Joey, I have to agree with you. We've seen a lot of talent, a lot of speed, passion. It's uh, and a lot of saves. We've had some highlight real saves. The goaltenders have been very good in this game. Honestly, I think like probably th my top three highlights of today are all saves. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure the two of the three are going to be from Burroughs too, correct? That's right. Yeah, well, I think uh, we were talking about how we're not officially picking stars for any of these games, but like unofficial players. Here's a turnover here. Chance shot. Great stop by Zol. The rebound on the wraparound. And that'll be stopped by Zol, and the referee is going to wave that puck out. That was an emphatic no. blow of the whistle. Emphatic blow, emphatic wipeout. Faceoff will stay to the left of Angelo Zol off a great save as they were looking for a, re a repeat of that first goal there. The lone goal to beat Zol. Or Sharma, for that matter. In fact, there was no goal to beat Zol. Folks, he's really proud of himself on that one. <laughs> Face-off win for Yellow. Back in his own zone to play that is Kabir Shahi. Gains the blue, stops up. Leaves that puck behind. Keegan Dunn. He'll throw that into the open corner, but he'll lose the battle to that puck as Cole Miller will beat him there. Here's Jacob Morrison. Throw that puck in for Nash Walters. 2.28 remaining. Walters, he's in with Miller, but he's poke checked all the way through. Morrison tried to slap that back down low, lost the handle on it, taken out by Keegan Dunn. Dunn, long stretch pass just out of the reach of his intended target, goes all the way down on Zola, and he'll play that one aside himself. Here's another turnover, another chance here, Jordan Wales, but he couldn't, couldn't beat his man Cole Miller to the puck. Here's Miller into the attack, his own pass across, unable to connect, was Nash Walters. Back the other way comes Gray. Jordan Wales into the attacking zone. Wales, nice drag move into the slot, shoots, he scores! Jordan Wales, what a goal. A nice, beautiful toe drag around the defender who was out sprawling. And he shoves her up top high to the blocker side, beats the goaltender. Was I not just saying I'm loving the play of Jordan Wales? You were talking about him. I, there's a few players that have been looking good on Gray who just haven't been able to have those bounces go their way. That's right, Joey. Hockey's a game of inches, and you can't win them all. Carone, drop pass, Hilditch. He'll get poke checked. There's a chance back the other way, a partial break. Ewan Markell, he's in all alone. Markell shoots, what a pad save by Angelo Zoll. Really came out and challenged him there. Aggressive goaltending, you'll love to see it, especially when there's only one guy coming in on you. Wagnon. And he'll get it back. Tries on the backhand. That'll be stopped by Burroughs. 45 remaining in our three-on-three -three segment. Chance for a couple more rushes here. A couple nice moves made, but he can't get inside of his man, Landon Hilditch. Cohen Oatman, a couple nice chances, however. Evers trying to dump that puck in. It'll be stopped up on the way there. In the neutral zone. Here's a chance in, McIntyre, in, shoots, great save, Burroughs. Burroughs makes the save. We got one more drop of the puck here. Playing that one is gonna be Magnuson and that will do it here. Well Joey, we kinda got interrupted by a few nice plays. You mentioned uh, an unofficial three stars of the game. What do you think? Well, I mean, Braden Burroughs was fantastic between the pipes. I don't want to give it to all goaltenders, but Burroughs was great. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to Angelo Zoll, although I will How do you choose between him and Sharma? I'm That's gonna tough. I'm going to give Sharma the edge because he was not the one who let in the goals. Right. I'm going to give him the edge there. However, but like... A lot of great play out of that big line for Team Gray of Hungle, Bongo, and Galata. The three of those two 
or the three of them rather, looked very good on that top line for Team Gray. Meanwhile, on the other side, lots of great things happening from Carone, Rennie, Brar, Morrison, Slomslick, all looking very good for Team Yellow. And obviously, uh, Liam Hunks on the blue line, as well as Ole Gabrielson and Cole Miller, Landon Hildich, all of them being lights out on that blue line for Team Yellow. And going forward in this weekend, it looks like Team Yellow might be the team to watch for. Might not have all the star power that some of the other teams do have. Like, Gray has that star power, but in terms of that everyman team that seems to have all the spots covered and the right spots you need them covered, it looks like Yellow might be the team to beat, and Blue and Green may have their hands full tomorrow. No doubt. And scoring by committee is nothing to scoff at. It's, uh, it's a luxury that not a lot of teams in any league can have. Yeah, and if you do have it, you'll probably go somewhere with it. Uh, damn right. <laughs> All right, that will pretty well do it for us here at the South Surrey Arena here for the Saturday. We're, we will be back at it all weekend long. We're back here tomorrow. Uh, how many games we got tomorrow, Josh? Eight? Enough to party. Enough to party. We'll be down here. So as we step aside here at the South Surrey Arena, a 9-2 final, yellow over gray, or pardon me, an 8-2 final, yellow over gray. We're back at it tomorrow, and we'll be here one more time on Monday as well. So four games tomorrow, and then three on the Monday? Two on the Monday. So we will have four tomorrow, and then we will come back to you on Monday with the gold medal and the bronze medal games. Six tomorrow, All right, rather. we got six tomorrow, all right. Um, okay, let's try this one more time from the top. We'll do it live, guys. Whoever said we were good at numbers. <laughs> six games tomorrow, followed by the bronze and the gold medal game on Monday. We want you to tune in if you've got nothing going on tomorrow. Weather's not supposed to be as nice as it has been for the past two days tomorrow. Stop by the South Surrey Arena. Watch some great hockey action live in person down here. You know, come say hello to the broadcast team. James and myself are going to be poking around all weekend, I'm pretty sure. So. No, we're charming. Yeah, we're pretty charming. You know, two sharp-dressed guys. I'm not wearing a tie. James is. But on behalf of all of us here in the broadcast booth and my broadcast partner, James Parisi, my name is Joey Pitt. We'd like to thank you for tuning in. We will see you next time. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Eagles Hockey.